Well, so just to kind of give like a brief recap here, uh, so we are on Duxin, which hopefully y'all can see my pinging. And so Duxin, for oh, man, if you, it, these musty women in white. <laughs> if you've ever looked at the actual map of like Star Wars, it's like extremely complicated. So I we try to I try to make it a little bit simpler by doing it this way. Uh, so Dexon is a very small moon that is yep that is uh, a moon of of Onderan, um, which is not labeled on here currently just for the reason of it hasn't become significant yet. Um, so last you know last session we had a total <laughs> TPK <laughs> total party kill. Um, I don't know, I guess, like, from, from what I was, like, trying to do, um, was that the, I think what the, after watching the, the video back a couple of times, um, I think what the issue was, was that, uh, not everybody got the mission details. Not everybody realized that this was supposed to be, like, a recon type thing. Um, because it ended up turning into, like, a slugfest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, essentially, um, the situation uh, on Duxin is uh, very much the same. Um, so, what I'm going to reveal here for you guys to read is uh, something like before, uh, just a galactic news report. And it's basically just uh, updating you guys to the events that have transpired since then and what's been occurring. So you guys, the last time you played was two weeks ago. Uh, roughly two weeks has passed since um, you guys' uh, original mission to try and uh, get in with the, the Sparrows. Um, and then subsequent no contact. So Naboo had you guys working for them as operatives, and they haven't had contact with you guys. Um, there's still a lot of turmoil going on in Naboo, or on Naboo, um, related to the blockade. Uh, there was an assassination attempt on the Queen. They still have not had any contact from the Queen, so it's not sure, or it's not clear whether or not she's been... Uh, killed or not. It's assumed that she's dead because it's been two weeks since anything's been said. Um, Andran is trying to in initiate uh, eradication of the pirates that are in their system. Naboo is trying to support that. Um, there's been some continued uh, issues with uh, the Zerka Corporation. Uh, not only on Indoor, but also on Kashyyyk. Uh, Mandalore is in a lot of turmoil right now. There's a lot of political strife occurring, and people are leaving the planet. Um, and they're actually being invited to potentially settle Duxin, because that was the original plan between Naboo and Onderan to develop it. Um, but it hasn't quite reached that the sparrows are still on planet and they are still uh, raiding uh, trade uh, vessels in that area uh, there's a lot more in-depth information in that news report but that's the gist of it so I'm gonna give you guys uh, just a couple of seconds if y'all want or a couple of minutes to just read through that if y'all want but I'm assuming um, I don't know everyone's background, so it's kind of hard to jump into this without knowing everyone's background. But I'm assuming that everybody has some sort of like mercenary. Uh, I I guess why would why would some of you guys be on Duxin currently, given that situation or the current situation? You said you've been awake for five years? Yeah, 
alive longer, but only awake for five of it. Like recently, because he was in. Uh, what I wanted my character to be was he uh, fell into hibernation because he was ejected from a spaceship in like the Kotor days, and he only woke up like five years ago because somebody found him in space. Oh, what the hell! <laughs> <laughs> They can go into, like, a hibernation where they just stop aging, and they don't need food or water, but, like, they're just there. It's amazing. Okay. So, like, um, it's all kind of new to him, but they're really good at fighting, so that's what he's doing. Nice. Okay. I'm reading your backstory here today. Yeah. I do. That's not the whole thing. It, like, didn't send it all. Alright. Hold on. Alright, and Ginny, I just read uh, yours. Okay. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Can y'all still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Dude, yeah. I just... <laughs> Dude, I closed it. I closed I closed the, the Discord. I'm like, oh, great. I just completely destroyed everything. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it, it just minimizes it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's what I said. Yes, yes. All right, so we no longer need to look at that map. So, it, we'll look at this map. <laughs> um, if you guys can just make sure that y'all can move y'all's tokens for me real quick, that'd be pretty dope. And everything's working. Actually, I think maybe Ginny's I didn't fix yet, because I added hers last. Okay, it sh should work now, Ginny. I got it. I was still uh, reading the report. I'm slow. No, that's fine. Well, I just, I mean, you can read it at your own leisure or, and refer back to it if you need to. Um, but, okay, so you guys essentially are, have been contacted uh, with a, a contract uh, from y'all's respect, respective either clan, organization, mercenaries guild. Um, but in some way, shape, or form, you guys have been in contact or been relayed that you guys have been assigned to Duxon to help uh, Nab the Naboo government and to an extent uh, the Onderdan Onderon government um, and that you're to meet with a contact on planet named Ben uh, who is had some trouble with dealing with a pirate outfit there uh, they have already told all of y'all that uh, there's been at least three attempts to eradicate this group on planet and that the Naboo government has actually increased the amount of payout that they're trying to give to anybody that's willing to solve this problem for them. So currently the contract that they're offering right now is uh, per individual involved in the contract it's going to be a lump sum of uh, 30,000, so split three ways is going to be 10. Hmm. So the contract right now is for 30,000. Um, but that's, that's after all the guild fees and everything else is taken out. So essentially 10,000 credits will go specifically to you guys, each one of y'all. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Um, so that's the uh, the objectives of the mission aren't clear, but that's the payout is clear currently. So that's how they're trying to get people on planet to come work. Um, but you guys would just have to make contact with Vin and then go from there. But as you guys are traveling together uh, from what I'm going to assume would be Coruscant, the headquarters of y'all's respective guilds. Uh, you already have geographic uh, coordinates 
and you guys are able to safely uh, get to Duxon despite the pirate um, activity. And when you land, the door is wide open for you guys to come straight in. And an elderly man comes to greet y'all. And so he he bows he bows to you, and he says, "Ah, you must be the representatives from Coruscant. It's good to meet you. Good to finally meet all of you. What what are y'all's names, may I ask?" My name's Prez Kuth. You said Prez? Prez. Okay. I'm writing this down. P-R-A-S? P-R-A-Z. Oh, Prez. Yeah, but the Z. So he, he bows to you, Master Prez, and so he looks to the left and looks at the female companion there. I'm Corday Baron. Corday. Corday. Uh, so he bows bows to you as well. Says you you appear to have the mark of Mandalore. Is that where you hail from? Yes, sir. Well, we definitely will need your expertise in the coming days. And so he looks to the right. And he says, and you, good sir, what is your name? Clot. Clot? Oh, yes. Like blood clot? Oh, yes. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Amazing. I wasn't sure if you said, like, clout or clot. And I was like, what? <laughs> clot. Yeah, it's kind of a nickname. I was thinking little brother. Let me, uh, let me, I'm gonna boost you up, Mark, just a bit here. Is there a way to make our names visible underneath our token? Uh, there is. Uh, but it does tend to make things very, uh, cumbersome. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, uh, if you have long names, like, commands, it takes up a lot. Yeah, the only reason I have them labeled right now is just for, uh, clarity. Uh, anytime there's a potential for battle, there's, their names are not going to be on there. Because <laughs> it, it, it ends up making it really uh, confusing. So, uh, we'll come. you guys come on in and get out of the rain. It never stops raining here. <laughs> so, what, what do you guys happen to know currently about the situation on planet? that you've been having some issues uh, completing your own missions on this planet. Well, there were some losses. Indeed. That's actually why you guys have been hired. Um, we've actually... You will have been the third group that will attempt the same mission. The issue here has been that the first group we, we sent in was just regular uh, rank and file militia that we've trained on planet and they were completely like we have no contact with them at all once they made contact with the enemy so that's been over a month now about two weeks ago we sent in a group of specialized uh, individuals that were working uh, not necessarily for Naboo, but uh, we had contracted with them for their services, and they did have some marginal success, um, but we've lost contact with them, and we don't know their current situation. It's just presumed that they are, in fact, dead as well, and because of that, and because of the issues that we've had on planet, we needed more qualified individuals. Uh, to help us with our situation here. If we fail again in this endeavor, we're actually going to have to the remove ourselves from the planet. Oh, God. Jesus. Do what? We're going to have to what? <laughs> Nuke the planet. We're just, yeah, we're going to go straight up. Uh, I don't think we need to go uh, that far, Clot. <laughs> so that's 
Good sir, that is that is a terrible idea. <laughs> but possibly a solution. The the issue here has been that there's there's no way for us to overcome the might of this pirate force. They're too well entrenched, they're too well equipped. The the true mission is to sabotage and inflict as much harm and damage as possible. More of a guerrilla type operation as opposed to a direct assault. So I'll have to have you guys talk with Hank, which is our intelligence officer. He can answer any questions that you have regarding the mission in detail. If you guys require any sort of uh, ammunition or arms or some sort of equipment, uh, you can come back and talk with me. And then our flight officer, our transport officer, uh, Bobby will be able to assist in getting you to and from the location. There are some remnants of the previous um, squad that came through, um, but for all intents and purposes, they are not going to be at your disposal at this time. They are currently on reassignment or are not in direct, we're not in any direct authority over some of them. So yeah, for now, they're. What's that? Yeah, there's this undead Jedi down there in the ship. <laughs> Flew back as a zombie. It's just Force Ghost. <laughs> That's so freaky. <laughs> I can still move me. <laughs> no! The ghost is gone. <laughs> Aww. That was, that was one point for Gryffindor for even noticing that. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even see that. So good job there. One thousand credits. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, if you have no further questions, I'm gonna get back to my my duties uh, here. Um, but feel free to talk to Hank or Bobby about anything, or even some of the other people that are here. They might be able to give you more insight into what's going on, or potentially, um, I don't know, what kind of mindset or communications might have come through from the previous group you know we've got a couple of soldiers there's actually a jedi here but i'm not sure if we can call him a jedi still because he was exiled but anyways just let me know if you guys need anything i'll be in the armory i think this time we should plan better <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. Plan? What's ready. that? Yeah, just be ready to run, I guess. Running's an option if, if, if it's guerrilla tactics. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, Man, so. Uh, you know, last time we all went in, no one said what they were doing, so then we all got fucked. It's fine. I'll just pick you up and carry you if you have a problem with it. Yes, please. Hmm. Oh, and I was thinking, uh, little brother earlier, Alphonse, right? From uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh. <laughs> Man, I'm not familiar with that show. He's just a walking suit of armor. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> literally, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, what do we want to do? Should we try and actually recon, or what do y'all want to do? Well, we gotta go talk to Hank and figure out what mission I guess they want us to do. Which I think is the blue guy down there. All right. So, clot, clout, clot. <laughs> you, you're going to talk to Hank. Yeah. Okay. So, Hank bows to you. He said, I've been informed that your name is Clot. Is that correct? I, I nod my head. Well, uh, for all intents and purposes, this is the same uh, mission uh, that we've been trying to accomplish for at least the last month. And um, basically what the issue is that there's a, a syndicate, crime syndicate here uh, known as the Sparrows. It's a group of pirates and raiders, basically just degenerates, that have been raiding trade sh shipping lanes that come through or around Duxon and they're making quite a killing, literally and figuratively, 
uh, by destroying the economies of the surrounding systems. There's no police force here, there's no military force here on Dexon, so they're operating completely uh, unprovoked. Um, Andoran is not necessarily much of a space faring people. Uh, they have quite the armed military, but they don't have the presence or the logistics to move things off the planet to different locations, whereas Naboo, which is where we are based off of, are based from, has the complete opposite. We don't have an army, but we have a navy. So Andoran and Naboo are working together in part to try and address the situation. Um, however, in order for us to get a foothold, uh, it's completely up to Naboo at this point. So the mission here that we are asking or wanting to get done is that we're trying to gather intelligence on the Syndicate hub. Um, that's roughly 50 miles north of us. And that we are trying to, uh, again, identify the Syndicate leader and if possible determine what their goals are on planet. It seems to be that they're just trying to raid, but given the logistic support that they are developing on planet, it seems like there may be some sort of ulterior or even larger goal. Um, we would like for you guys to, to remain undetected. That's one of the primary objectives. Um, however, if you aren't able to remain undetected, we do want you to, of course, be able to return with the intel. Uh, secondary objectives would be, of course, to c inflict as much damage as possible to the current outposts. So that would be however you are able to prevent uh, shipping, uh, destroy cargo, uh, taking out their manpower, whatever you deem necessary at that point. Uh, there will be a significant um, increase in the pay that you receive if you are able to capture the syndicate leader. And essentially from the mission objectives that I've shown, I'm have shown, i showing to you, uh, Clot, uh, the more successful primary objectives, the more secondary objectives that are paid out will be added to your initial rate of 10,000. So essentially each additional objective will uh, potentially garner you at a 1,000. So all the primary objectives will be 1,000. Secondary objectives would be 2,000 for each completed one. Uh, the rules of engagement, of course, uh, there are civilians on planet and at this base. Uh, civilian casualties will not be tolerated. Um, the integrity of the mission is paramount. So if you need to abort the mission, in the sense that if you have to leave, then leave. Uh, don't try to accomplish all the objectives if you're not going to be able to or can't figure a way to do it. And then our rules of engagement will be to not fire unless fired upon. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, I, I heard a really brave Ewok killed the Syndicate leader. <laughs> uh, the syndic the syndicate leader, as far as we're aware, is actually still alive. Oh, bastard! What a wily one. The my understanding is that there was a significant amount of damage done to their their star fleet, essentially, or their uh, fighters. I believe that um, they've had a minimal presence in the last two weeks. I'm not sure exactly what that was the result of, uh, but from our operatives that are in the field, uh, there seems to have been a very large commotion at the Syndicate base, but again, we aren't clear on what actually occurred there. Um, we believe that the Syndicate leader is still alive, but we're not, we're not sure on the reality of that. But yes, there was an e Ewok operative involved. <laughs> um, player to DM um, I don't know piloting so I don't think we can I can't use the little new boost starship like we did last time um, so we may have to do I guess that first plan of the bigger ship um, 
You'll have to go talk with Bobby. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go talk with Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, basically, I'll just ask, like, how, how are we supposed to get there? And he'll tell me to go talk to Bobby, huh? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, well if you guys have no further questions, you can find me in the gallery if you have any additional questions. They have an art gallery? It's a uh, more like food galley. I said gallery, but I, I meant know, galley. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so you guys are going to talk to Bobby? Yeah. Alright. So, you see this very strange looking man before you, and he just is kind of got like these shakes with his hands, and just hey, hey, uh, what, are, what, what, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we are looking for transport for our mission. We were told to talk to you. Well, uh, how, 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 do you guys know how to, to, to fly a starship? I don't even know if you'd fit in a starship, looking how big you are. We'd have to put you in a cargo bay or something. I can fly. Well, you can fly. What, what about you, pointy head man? Uh, no. Well, I, I thought you guys were supposed to be some kind of elite group. How, how are you, how's it that y'all can't fly? You know what, you, you know what, if, if only one of y'all can fly, I can't have one one of y'all taking that big ship. That thing's got hardly any fuel in it. These starships, these starships, you, you had to fly single seater. I don't know if I can help y'all. <laughs> I can help her. She can fly in there. Do you have any uh, ground vehicles? We got a man. I got an old piece of junk speeder that may get you there, but you may not get back in it. Oh, that doesn't sound... How far is the place from us? Yeah, the place where you're going is about 50 miles from here. Oh. But, so I mean, you, you could you could definitely make it there. I don't, I just can't tell you if you'd make it back. It's got fuel and everything, it's just one of the engines doesn't work too well. I've tried fixing it before, but God bless it, that thing is just a piece of crap. I don't know, any of y'all handy with a wrench? I have a three mechanics. Yeah, I have a six. Well, you're welcome to take a look at it and see if you can figure out something. Or at least just get it there and back. I'm not expecting it to win any races, but maybe you can jury rig it somehow. I can take a look at it. Yeah, be my guess. And if you break it, oh well. <laughs> So don't feel bad. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all want me to go take a look at it and maybe y'all yeah. go stock up or whatever? Yeah. Well, she's a uh, ship cell uh, back outside the gate, but. So I'll just have you roll mechanics, Jenny. 16. Uh, Corp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, well, it's, as far as you can tell, the it's running okay. All right. It's got a. It's got. It needs some parts. Needs some coolant. It's got gas though. Can May I overheat. Can I steal some stuff from one of the fighters? Can you steal stuff? Probably yeah, just for just it. for the mission. Just take some parts off one of the star fighters for the speeder and then I can put it back when we're done. Sure. Oh, there you go. Should I roll? Yeah, you'll have to roll again. Crit. Yeah. Crit I got a one. No, I meant crit good. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you, well, you take this... Well, I critted bad. I'm sorry. You, you're able to take the parts out from the starship? No problem. And you put them into the um, into the land speeder, 
and for all intents and purposes, it seems to be running just as good. Can I test it first to make sure? Mm, test it how? I mean, like, start it. Make sure it actually runs now. Sure. Sure. Turn it on. <laughs> so you, you turn it on, and it just it's just humming. doesn't seem to have an issue right now. All right. I'm scared. You I should be. So you should worried. be. <laughs> you should be. Like, we don't even get to fucking get where we're going now. Oh. Oh, armor. All right. You guys have, each have 7,500 to play with here. Um, I think we agreed that I start with basically nothing because of the, the armor. Alright, so here, here's what I'm buying. <clears throat> I'm buying three frag grenades. That's a good idea. I'm buying a comm link. I am buying two med packs. And a bandolier. I thought some of us had that stuff already. Is it? Uh. I'm just telling you what I own, but I'm buying this and I'm taking it out of my money. Don't be yeah, so you. Rich. Anything that you had previously that you wanted to keep just for your time's sake, um, you can still have. Are still having your position. If there's anything that you want in addition to what you had purchased previously, or or need to stock up on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that everybody has a long range comm link or at least a short one. Yes. Um. You know, there's the electro binoculars. If you're actually gonna do your recon, you can do it safely from a distance. Um, survival gear to get to and from med packs. Uh, you can have uh, basically like handcuffs, binder cuffs. Um, the, like Nick's already buying grenades. Um, you yes, can buy a better rifle. You can buy a better pistol. You could buy heavy weapons, you could buy explosives, um, melee weapons, what what have you. So I'm gonna give you guys like five minutes or so, unless y'all don't need that much time. Okay. Hmm. Well then I'm gonna buy um if that's the case. I'm gonna buy uh three binder cups. Okay. Is anyone else needing to grab anything? Yeah, I'm just Hello. looking over stuff. Okay. Um, I am going to go refill my cup <laughs> at the beer back. <laughs> All right. But if it's on if it's on this page right now, you with the exception of the lightsabers, <laughs> you can have it or buy it. I bought all the lightsabers. Nothing. Fantastic. I could just buy. How many can I buy with 7,500 credits? <laughs> <laughs> Don't break the game. Divided by 50. We can tie up 150 people if we need to. We can take 150 prisoners with this. Easy. That's intense. What is the helmet package? Because I do have a helmet. There's a helmet package? Yeah, it's like some stuff that you install into your helmet. Because I don't have a helmet. I have like... But I have the, the combat jumpsuit. But I don't have a, a helmet per se. 
I don't know if that's necessary. I don't think that affects my armor. I think it's basically the communicators built into your helmet. I think there might be something else. Ah. Uh, okay, so when it's on uh, allows the armor to grant TP. So some better low light vision, um, comm link. That's basically it. It's like a plus two perception bonus and uh, low light vision. Yeah. But I mean, having the communicator in the helmet is kind of tight. Yeah. So you said we can have anything on here, even if it's restricted? I think uh. so, as long as it's not lightsabers. Uh. <clears throat> Maybe you should grab some of them ion grenades then. Alright, how are we doing? Thermal detonator. Adam, the helmet package. Um, not currently. I don't believe. Okay. Yep. So the well. the only reason the stock right now is kind of limited. Um, but like basically, I don't know if you guys have looked at the scum and vil villainry book. Um, yeah. But you are able to upgrade things, um, but that gets kind of like unlocked the more success that you'll have on planet. So this page will get bigger. Okay. Ah. Well, I mean, it is on this page, but if you, if you don't want to. Is it? Yeah, it's at the bottom. Uh, then you can get it. I forget what the helmet package does, but... <clears throat> it's not a lot. Um, it's just the Calm Link is now built into my helmet. And uh, okay. I low light vision. Okay. Alright. Anything else? I bought uh, three of those binder cuffs. I don't know if I told you. Yes, I I told you. yes sir. Also... If I wanted to, Adam, they don't weigh anything, so I could potentially, with $7,500, buy 150 binders, and then I can just, you know, capture everybody. <laughs> right? Um, right? No. Adam? <laughs> no. Adam? I just imagine the guy showing up with a giant backpack full of nothing but handcuffs. <laughs> like, what do you do with that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm here for the BDSM party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think, uh, we'll probably just limit that to three. <laughs> Damn it. Bullshit. <laughs> All right. Jenny, is there anything else that you wanted or needed? Um, or I just got a pistol and then two frag grenades also. Okay. I was just debating on if I wanted to even buy armor right now or a um, jetpack. <laughs> It may actually be beneficial. Which one? The armor or the jetpack? Either. Both. <laughs> uh, the, the main reason I'm saying that is uh, you guys are going in with less people than before. Then I might buy the flight suit armored. Okay. That'll add 5 to your reflex and fortitude, but it reduces your max dexterity. Dexterity, um, excuse you. Your max dexterity bonus to 3. Eh, I'm only at plus 2 right now anyway. Okay. Yeah, so then. You could have potentially like the uh, battle armor, and not suffer suffer a penalty. But that it's more than what what y'all have or what you have on you. Yeah, I'm already gonna be not gonna have enough money for that. So yeah, just do the the flight suit and go up to max. Does that mean I change my max dex to three, or that just means I can only go up to three? Uh, no, yeah, you can't exceed three. Okay, got it. So. 
but you get an additional plus five to your reflex defense and then plus two to your forti fortitude defense. So you should be significantly harder to hit. What's your dad? Um, I don't know. You, you guys might want to do the same. What's that? to you. Uh, get armor, potentially. I have... I have a combat jump suit. Okay. Bro. Okay. All right. Shit, my fucking reflex. I have like fortitude of twenty, reflex twenty-one, and will of seventeen. Take off the helmet package because I don't think you're remembering the conversation we had about me starting with no money because of the armor that I have. Um, vaguely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I'll just I'll just keep to that. Then I'll take off the helmet package. <laughs> My character just has his armor and a vibro axe and a little communicator field. Okay. So nobody's wanting to get anything else, right? Nothing. Uh, I'm good. At the moment, too. Okay. All right. So you guys are finished with Ben. And he kind of just says, all right, you know, you guys are all square. Whenever you're ready, just let uh, uh, Bobby know. Or if you want to talk with anyone else, feel free to. But uh, it's going to start getting dark here in a little bit. So you, pro you guys probably want to try and get out uh, before uh, the sun goes down. All right. You're piloting. I, I'm following wherever you're going. I have to go tingle. So, would y'all rather take the speeder, or? I think that's our only option. Okay. Because, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. because we both can't pilot, so. I mean, I could have set y'all on autopilot. Uh, then he. I think he made a comment about me not fitting. Yeah, you're too big. I'm big. Very big. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so speeder then. Alright, so y'all are going to take the speeder and go north 50 miles to the Syndicate headquarters. So you guys load up and you guys are you know, able to get the engine going and for all intents and purposes it seems like it's going pretty good. Uh, so you guys are you know, heading north no problem um, but as you're heading north you're starting to kind of hear some knocking or what seems to be like knocking like the engine's struggling um, but you're you're able to make it all the way um, all the way to the uh, location so um, you guys can unload or try and go from there or um, essentially, y'all are going to make it all without any issue within just a couple hours. Or, excuse me, within within an hour. So it's probably only going to take you like 30 minutes to get there. Okay. Can we hide the speeder? Like, maybe five? Should we, like, park a good ways from the base like we did before? Yeah. Probably smart. Um, you'll probably be able to get a lot closer just because the speeder, the aircraft, I mean... It's a lot easier right. to hear the aircraft and see it just because it's up in the sky. The sure. speeder, it I mean, you could practically pull right up to the front door almost. Alrighty. Sounds good. When we pull okay. up, right. is there um, other vehicles like around? Is this, is this the kind of like, I know it's kind of a, I remember it being semi-cantina-ish. Is this the type of place that people park their speeders at to kind of go in or yes okay i'm just wondering it just in case we have to steal one potentially we're all wanting <laughs> to go again in again or should we uh, try and i may have to like... stay outside just yeah so big. Mm -hmm. i mean well, we're well, how how big are you? Looks like so. Oh, 
Uh, I'm about nine feet tall and 350 pounds. Huh. That's it. <laughs> Are you a Wookiee in there? Like, my character is technically large. Like, he's not... Oh! He's large. So is your move speed still organized, then? My move speed's eight. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm, a big I'm not gonna change your size. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I figured. Uh, I figured you didn't adjust it uh, for a reason, just because it'd be a pain in the butt. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you guys, you guys come from the south, so this is essentially what you can see from here. I had to scroll down. I didn't see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are just doing recon. It's not like we're like, you know. We're not immediately gonna run in here and start swinging, so I mean, I doubt they're gonna care if I walk in. If I'm just like, I just want to go to the bar. I don't know. You're a pretty big guy. We can blend in. I mean, you can go in and look around and just kind of scope out the place. Yeah. Get a feel for it. See if there's any weak points. Yeah. If you guys, I guess, want to go in and scout, I can, I can go around the building and scout the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Okay. So who's going in? It sounds like me and uh, Praz. Praz. Okay. We could go in together or we could walk mm -hmm. in separately. I said together and I'm going to loop my arm around yours. Okay. <laughs> nice. Following your lead. Do we have any information from, like, the team that went in before at all? Uh, no one was able to get any data out or try okay. to transmit anything pre previously. All you know that there was a there was a skirmish just from the locals there. It said that there was a battle or some sort of shootout, but for all intents and purposes, they're still in operation. Do people just normally just show up, or is it mostly just their crew? It's predominantly their crew. This is like the headquarters of like a criminal organization. They let people in, um, uh, but they're not uh, back like bounty hunters, maybe looking for work mm -hmm. or something. Like they don't just let like anybody come in. Um, but the, so the people that are in here have some sort of criminal background or have done something or they have some something to offer um, um, just getting into the bar no big deal they'll just let anybody in practically or if you're gonna use their services then uh -huh. they would let you in as well but only por portions of the base are open to the general public I need you to describe in uh, great detail there <clears throat> okay so can we just try and go into the bar area Sure. <clears throat> I'm tiddling, going that way. Hey, hey, hey! What are y'all? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What can I get y'all? What can I get y'all? We're just coming in for a drink. All right. Well, let me just uh, let me just get you scanned up here. You got any weapons on you? Of course. All right, you're gonna have to leave those with me. I'm going to give him my my vibro dagger and my blaster rifle, but I'm going to okay. eat my hold out pistol. Okay, uh, roll stealth. <laughs> That's plus five. Where's my stealth? Plus ten. Uh, math, math. Hello, twenty-four. Jesus. All right. Well, yeah, the, the, you're you're good to go uh, in. You're, pistol, now you're two plus five to concealing. Uh, right. Ma'am, I just need you to step forward. You sure you're good to go in. All right, ma'am. Yeah, I'm just right, gonna so... hand him what's visible, which would be the carbine. Oh no, he's like patting you down. Oh, he's patting or, me. He, essentially. Uh, yeah, he 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 didn't, he, he didn't pat, pat him. Oh. Uh, she, yeah, yeah, sure I did. He asked. He's he's like basically coughing a feel. 
All right, and he slaps you on the butt. You're good to go. Uh, Arr. R, like a fire. Oh, I wanted wow. so bad to just to drop him in the crotch. That's yeah, a crime base. Probably not the best city. <laughs> I just like, I take a look at myself, guys, and I am playing the polar opposite. I'm not sure. two to myself. I don't, I don't even think you can roll stealth. I mean, I could. You can always roll it, but that doesn't mean anything. Unless I was trying to stealth as a boulder, maybe. Oh, look at that statue. <laughs> can I go in? Or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it. I'm placing myself on the bar. Damn guard. Oh, All right. Yeah. I asked the uh, bartender. I yell, "Hey, get us a couple hey. of health specials." All right, health specials coming up. So uh, that'll be uh, one credit. All right, so he gives you the beers, he takes your money, and he just goes off to the register. My money. Where did Jenny go? <laughs> or where did uh, <laughs> Corday go? Oh, there she is. Okay. How do you say All that? right. Corday. Corday, and I remember Clot, because, you know, Clot. Because Clot. I keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping it simple. I'm the... I'm... I'm proud that I'm just next to you. Is this Bill Nye right here? No, that is the guy from How I Met Your Mother. He's 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 looking at you because you're looking at him. He goes, "Can I help you?" I tell him your drink is getting a little low. There, you mind if I buy you another round? He he p puts his hand out in front of him and he's looking at his drink and he's like, "Sure, if you're buying, I'll buy as many as you need, friend." So the bartender comes back and is like, Oh, I don't know if you want to tell him that. You may be here all night and not have any money. So that'll be one credit. I hand him five. And I say, just to get us started. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. So, oh. Well, thanks a lot, friend. I mean, I don't even know your name. What's what's your name? Praz. And yours? Praz? Oh, my name's Connor. Uh, what brings you to these parts? Oh, just looking for work. Not a place to well, rest. If, well, I don't know about a place to rest, but this is definitely a place uh, to find some work if you're looking to get your hands dirty. Uh, I show him my... Uh, I have a battle scar across my neck, and I say I have a lot of experience with getting my hands dirty. Oh, shit. Are you, are you with the crew? Currently. What, what's y'all's name? Do y'all have a name? No. The Clots. Man. The Blood Clots. Well, <laughs> man, what kind of what kind of work do y'all do? Well, at the moment, we're looking for work. Well, I I don't have anything for you, man. But I'll uh I'll keep an eye out. Let's see if anything comes through. Uh, the guy over here, that. this guy over here next to me, uh, Barack. He's a uh, me and him are just here to check out the women, basically. But we did a job uh, about two weeks ago. It's real weird. Uh, it's like a body disposal thing, man. Some sort of like right. shootout went out. Oh, here, man, there's a shootout here just a couple of weeks ago. You don't And, uh, yeah, man, I don't know, some crazy stuff. Uh, turns out, uh, the guys that, uh, came through here, uh, and shot up the place, they're, they're actually, s <laughs> he, 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 get, he leans in, and I'm gonna send you something, Nick, so, cause you're the only one that's gonna know this. Oh, okay.
Yeah, crazy shit, man. So, wow. the uh, the you issue... Were, you said you were disposing of bodies, though. Yeah, shit, the guys that work here, their bodies. Oh, jeez, sounds like this place might need a... You know what? You just gave me an idea. Shit, man, the guys here, they're kind of low on manpower. If you can, if you can somehow talk to a... I don't know, a captain or a lieutenant, somebody in charge here, you might be able to, I don't know, figure something out, work with this outfit, but especially if you're looking for work, I wouldn't expect it to be a long-term thing. These guys can get kind of crazy with their their loyalty, unless you're willing to sign up forever and be a lifer, but that's not my style, man. Well, I wouldn't mind a quick bit of work, but I, and I lead in and I say, but I don't really care for the outfits, if you know what I mean. Shit. These fools are crazy, but it is kind of a paramilitary organization, so I get the intention of using the uniform, but man, these fucking people look ridiculous. Yeah, I, I hold my drink up. I say cheers to that, brother. So, oh, cheers, mate. So, I, hits, uh, hits. Hits your glass bottles. Anyways, man, I gotta get back to talking to uh, Barack over here about trying to get the hell off this planet. But, man, thank you so much for the beers. Thank you for the info. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a good one. I, uh, I turned to Corday. I turned to Corday. Mm. And I tell her. So it turns out, the last crew they sent in here isn't actually dead. What? Yeah. Apparently they've got him in some back room or something, and they're like, just beating the shit out of him, trying to get information. I'm whispering all this by this. So, so this is now <laughs> turning into a rescue mission. I wouldn't go that far. They did say that... Uh, I look at her and they're a little low on manpower from what I've been told. We might have an easy way in. We might be looking for some extra money. And then maybe get closer to them and try and help the people. Potentially. We'll have to see how it unfolds. We've got to find us a way in though. Find somebody that can uh, open the front door for us, so to speak. Well, Mark, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I was, uh, like I said, walking around checking out the perimeter. And I mean, if, if uh, waiting, basically waiting to hear any information from them since they're on the inside, but just doing okay. a scout around outside to see what the outside of the base looks like. Okay, I'm going to have you roll perception real quick. Uh, in, uh, Corday and Prez, you guys feel free to keep talking about what your okay, plan is over there. I'm just gonna be there. looking around to see if I see someone that looks like they're more in charge than the okay. rabble. Nick, I'm assuming the pirates are them. I mean, the bartender's a pirate. Yeah, but, yeah, he probably works for them. I know he does, but uh, maybe that there's a table over there. Potential That's what I was gonna. Right. I'm let I'm letting you do your thing. Okay. We've been hogging the limelight. Cool. Plot needs no light. Plot needs the cold space. <laughs> <laughs> um, that wall's still like ten feet tall, right? Yes, that I wall is ten feet tall. Stand on your tiptoes. Yeah, I could actually probably stand, like, just reach up <laughs> with a hand and pull myself up and like peek over. Um, could you imagine the guys on the other side of the wall? They're like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> could I, um, could I try to get closer to that and maybe kind of sc scout through that a little bit? Not, not actually go in, but just take a peek. Sure. That's what you see. I think I know what caused that. Um, so no, 
know people. Kadoki. Can they all see that, or is that just me? Uh, everyone can see that currently. Okay. I don't have the ability to yeah, that, that's make fine. it to where only certain people can see it. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just wanted to let them know that that's, that's kind of where I am, is on that outside wall looking in right now. Alright. I have uh, short range columns, so... I'm, yeah, I'm I'll, I'll calm to them and let them know there's a, there's a big-ass blast hole on a wall back here near some hangers that I'm looking in right now. Oh. Interesting. Looks like a part of the wall got blown out. I don't. Oh. There's a couple of people working on a couple of ships. Mm. Well, hello there. Ma'am, and sir, is there anything that I can get for you? I'm going to take my hand away from my, my ears. I'm listening. Uh, uh, you kind of loud in here, isn't it? It's pretty loud. Uh, yes. Hey. Well, if you're looking for something... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. In here. You work here, right? Oh, yeah. I'm the, I'm the waitress here in this particular part. Perfect. How long have you been here? Oh man, about a month. A month. Okay. You I'm might trying to get off the planet. Yeah, what do you need? Well, I'm looking to see if I might be able to acquire some work here. I just need to find the right person to talk to. Uh, she turns around and points to the group of guys over here. Best thing I could tell you is talk to those guys over there. If you're looking for something that has to do more with security. That is exactly what I'm looking to do. And he, so the the lady turns to you, Corday, and says, are you looking for work as well? He was talking to you. Oh, uh, sorry. I had to leave the desk. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, so, so, are you looking for work as well, or...? Yes. Okay. Well, um... I don't know if you would be interested in the kind of work that they would be offering you. Um... Because it's kind of on the other side of the building. And, uh, I don't know, what, what do you do? I don't know, you may try and go talk with them and see, maybe they'll hire you for security, but... Usually they're hiring women to get pimped out, and I, you probably aren't that kind of person. Mm, you would be correct. Well, I, I don't know. The, the captain is here, so you might be able to get in good with the... Uh, I don't know, you might be able to earn a lot of money that way. I don't know, they always ask me to do it, but I'm a, I try to be an upstanding girl. As be a Khalifa. <laughs> she only is like that when she has a glass of so She has them off right now. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I. What's so funny is that like, I heard like chuckling when I said that. <laughs> there now she has glasses. <laughs> now she has her glasses on, so she's innocent now. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, go put your schoolgirl uniform on and you'll be good, I guess. <laughs> It'll be good, alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> alright, well, if you guys don't have anything that I can help with um, further, I mean, just come talk with me. And, uh, man, if, if you, do you guys wouldn't happen to know how I could potentially get off the planet, would y'all? I'm trying to get out of here. This place is just I, uh, not for me. I want to get a read on her. Um, is she, like, genuinely looking for a way off, or is she just trying to get a read of people? Um, you would have to roll for that, my friend. What do you want me to roll? 
I am trying to figure that out myself right now. I'm gonna th go with. What is it that? Yeah, I get say it, what you're trying to do. You're trying to read her, like her body language. Yeah, kind of like how you have in D and D, you have the insight skill, but we don't have that on here. I'm gonna go with perception. Okay, let me roll. Roll perception plus eight. Slash R one D twenty plus eight. Hey, an eighteen. For all intents and purposes, she's genuine. She looks like she might be afraid of something. I ask her, what is what? what's the uh, what's the rush? She said you've been here a month. You're already trying to leave. Well, let's, let's just say this wasn't part of the plan. And uh, the barkeep says, "Hey, what are you doing talking to customers? You're supposed to be serving people, not talking. That's my job. Get out of here." So she's like, well, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you guys, but if, if you, I don't know, if you can figure something, so, well, anyways, I don't, and she just takes off. <laughs> I turn to the bartender and say, I'm sorry, uh, I was actually inquiring about possible work opportunities. Well, that just depends on how skills you are at certain things what, what are you good at I'm good at killing then you want to go talk to the boys over there and he points to the table over here points to and the point. table of ye old merry men <laughs> <laughs> and I uh I, I gotta but don't, but don't go talk to him unless you really want to her too what? it's a package deal <laughs> he's Corday. All right. So, what are what are you good at? He's talking to you, Corday. Exactly what he said. Kill it. Thing. So he uh, he's like, what, dude? We're not gonna hire no woman to come be security for us. That's ridiculous. What what are you show show me something. Show me how you're good at killing. What skills do you have? Can I grab him and pull him over the bar? Sounds aggressive. Can you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're you're gonna grab him? Yeah. Alright. Uh, just roll a d20. Do I need to add anything to it? Yeah, we're just gonna roll straight d20 for right now. 15. Alright, so you, you gotta, you grabbed the hold of him. You've got him in your grasp. And he's just looking at you like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is your problem, man? Yeah, the music stops. That wasn't planned. What you gonna do now, Corday? Well, he just he just pulls himself back and like, man, get your damn dirty hands off me! Freaking trying to intimidate me. Who do you think you are? Where do you think you're at? This is our house, not your house. You don't talk to people like that. You don't here. talk to people like that either. Don't insult me. Man, you don't know me. I don't need to know you. I don't want to know you. I don't want you working security for us. I want you got your an boss. anger problem. You're not even the boss. You're nothing. Out of my face. This motherfucker. <laughs> she just walks off. Wow. Four day. That was aggressive. I kind of have to be with these guys. I'm sure we got these guys' attention now. He puts. He puts your. He puts a. You, you feel a hand on your shoulders. Both of y'all. He says, "Is there a problem here?" Well, actually, it seems your bartender's calling the shots for you. Is he in charge of who works here and who doesn't? Uh, your your friend says, "Man, y'all fucked up," and then he goes over here. <laughs> if, if I don't know what's happening, so if you guys want to call me, I'm gonna so, turn. I'm, I'm leaving my call links open. Yeah. Oh, There's okay. no reason not. <clears throat> 
You said you're looking for work? Yeah, but your uh, bartender seems to be overstepping his bounds unless he is, in fact, your leader. Nah, he's not overstepping any boundaries, but it looks like you two are. I've never seen y'all here before. What are y'all doing here? Looking for work. What kind of work? The kind of work where I get to use my blaster. He said, okay. All right. What about you? He's talking to you, Corday. I work with him, so the same as him. Sniping, whatever y'all need. I'm just not opening my legs for anyone. I'm gonna tell you that right fucking now. Oh, all right, all right. I said okay. You said y'all both are handy with a blaster. Did we not just say that? All right. Here, he pulls out he pulls out a blaster. And it's like a an older like old old blaster. And he hands it to you, uh Prez. He says, Alright. Take this blaster. And I want you to shoot that bottle over there. And he's he's talking about it this one over here. Where no one's behind. Okay. That's but I want fun. I don't want you to shoot the bottle. <laughs> I want you to shoot the cap off. Okay. Well, the bottle. All right. With one shot, you only get one shot. One if shot. you shoot it off, you're in. If not, you're done. Both of y'all. Well, I'm going to use my uh, my dead eye skill behind this wall over here. Just so I you're gonna go over there. Yeah, uh, like I'm not in the actual building, the outside wall, but I can't click on the outside wall. Just kind of okay. around the corner. I just don't want the two over here to see me. But I'm gonna stay. Okay. You you grab some grenades, right? Uh, uh, he did. I did. I definitely do. The only did. yeah, the only thing. The yeah, uh, everything that you have minus the holdout pistol. Well, he didn't take my grenades with... either. Yeah, he's taking your grenades. Damn it! So I guess I had them on my bandolier. That doesn't matter. All right, I'm using my dead eye skill. Okay. Roll it. Roll. Uh, what I have to do? You have to shoot uh, a bottle cap off of a bottle. One D twenty. This gun he gave me jank. Did you roll it? Yeah. Gave What'd you roll? One. It always gives me that one on this fucking thing. Oh. Yeah, you fire and it it it's a bottle just busts in half. He's like, well, you aimed a little low. So he grabs the gun from you, and he gives it to Corday. Same thing. You want in? Shoot the bottle. Take the cap off. Don't break the bottle. Nat twenty. Do you need to oh, add anything you, to it? No. If you roll a natural twenty, we got it. <laughs> so yeah, you sh you shoot it and just boom, flies right off. And he said, and he just looks at you. Says, holy shit. Alright, if you want work, we'll let you work security. But you man, you're I don't know about you man. You're gonna have to find work somewhere else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my I have uh I'm gonna try it one more time. I have to. You you're tell, my, you're, you're, you're asking to try to again? No, I'm not gonna ask, I'm just gonna do it. You're gonna pull out your gun? I am gonna pull out the holdout pistol. I'm making a point. Uh. <laughs> I was gonna say I could hand you the one I have. Okay. Yeah, I'm making a point. <laughs> they didn't find us. Their security is shit. They're 21. All right. I guess, so as soon as you pull out your gun, they pull out their guns, That's and they're basically point—they're 
pointing it basically like point blank at you and they're they i mean obviously you didn't shoot at them they shot at the bottle and you do shoot the bottle off this time so so the guy they put their guns back and said did we tell you to tell you to do that no but i do know so, that if you don't want me wearing security you can at least consider me i walked right into your front door with this thing It seems like it would hand, be a bit of a improvement. Hand it over. Here. Hand it over. Hand it hand over. Hand the pistol over. <sighs> Alright. You guys... You guys are in. But we're going to keep an eye on you. I don't... I don't like... I don't like either one of y'all for right now. Y'all haven't proved anything to me yet other than that y'all know how to shoot. So, this is just going to be a one one time temporary deal until we get things situated but I don't think you guys are going to be here for too long unless y'all manage to impress me some other way so for now you guys are just going to work security here in the tavern y'all aren't going anywhere else me what's the pay What's the pay? Usually when you say somebody's working, there's some form of payment involved. All you are is extra muscle right now. You're just on standby in case we need you for something. Hmm. Basically, you're a free agent, and he just walks away. I turn to... So Core day. <laughs> that could have gone better. Yeah. Now what? I still think your best bet is trying to get her to help you. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, and, and maybe maybe if you help her get off world, she might have. Actually, I think both of these two guys were looking for to get off world too. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Should we lose them? Yeah. <clears throat> uh oh. I'm gonna. Is he peeing? I don't know what he's doing. Probably peeking around the corner to see a nine foot tall, three hundred fifty pound armored alien. I oh, know they they Here. walked away to go fuck. Fantastic. <laughs> Did I hear them talking about anything when they went into that door? Or... I'm probably not really close enough, actually. No, uh, they didn't. They didn't seem to say anything. They just kind of went in. This guy is com comes up to you, trying to get to the bar, and he he stumbles and walks into you. Oh, <laughs> careful, there, buddy. Man, <laughs> my. You watch where you're going. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm sitting here. Get out! Get out of the way! I'm trying to get uh, another beer. Oh, you can get another beer. There's plenty of seating on the left. M move, move! I'm already here. No, oh, no, that's not how this works. Take a spot over behind me to the left. He, he's trying. He's trying to like. He has this hand on you and he's trying to push you out of the way that's probably not going to work out and too and, the, and the and the guys over here are just watching what you're doing i tell him to take your hand off me before i throw you okay the door. The music stop perfect so you <laughs> <laughs> so so uh you like knock his hand off of you and he goes hey man well what's your problem and then he like pushes you real hard like up against the 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 bar kind of okay all i want is my beer just get out of the way man and then he kind of goes like kind of like you're not moving so he kind of starts pushing a uh, corday move bitch <coughs> get out of my way i'm, I'm trying to get my beer <laughs> okay <laughs> 
Uh, roll a d4. Throw punch. D4 damage. A d4? Yeah. That's your strength. That's your strength. Uh, my strength modifier is only plus one, so it's two. So you just punch this dude right in the throat. And he just starts, like, grabbing his throat, and he's like, Oh, shit! What the fuck? So and totally you can not to touch you can again. you can see the guys over here like starting to like smile or like chuckle and laugh, and uh, Mia is kind of like oh shit, so she kind of backs away, and the bartender's coming back. He's like, hey, what the fuck are y'all doing to my patrons? Why are you punching this guy in the throat? He's trying to start a fight. Billy, get the fuck away from there. Just go back to your table. Mia will bring you something. So they punch me in the throat, man. Shut the fuck up. Go back to your table. <laughs> Say, man, we're gonna we're gonna settle settle this outside, you you stupid bitch. Let's go outside right now. They don't want to go outside. He really shouldn't go outside. He comes outside. Follow him outside. And so, like, like pretty much, like everybody's like, "Oh shit, it's going down!" <laughs> Hell yeah! Even Barack Obama's there. Yay! I love that you All right. a picture of Barack Obama with a beer. This is a tavern. I'm gonna stay hidden unless you want me to come out. I'm, I'm over here behind this wall. Look, point, pointy-haired head freak. I, my problem is not with you, it's with with her! If you have a problem with one of us, you have a problem with both of us. He pulls out a gun, says, Look, motherfucker, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying with all those thorns coming out of your head, but I said that my problem's not with you, and he's pointing the gun at you. <laughs> okay. Well, now you have a problem with all three of us. Plot. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna run up behind him and, and grab him. There's only there's only two of you. <laughs> and then I guess Claude, if you'll roll a a d20 for me, sir. Oh, uh, no sneaky advantage. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can roll. You're gonna roll oh, it with advantage, oh, good sir. Am I rolling a grapple or? Yeah, you can roll a grapple. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah, so you gotta gr hold of this guy, and his gun is, like, basically pointing at his face now. He's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? I could, well, I'm, I'm gonna walk up to him while he's holding him. You say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a hold of his hand that's holding the gun with his hand on the trigger. You say, it would uh -huh. be a shame if you were to shoot yourself in the head with this. Oh, shit. Man, man, I was just, I was just kidding. I, I just wanted to fight that. I just wanted to fight that girl. She punched me in the throat. I'm just I'm laughing while this is happening. She punched. And now she's laughing at me. What? She punched you in the throat, but you're about to shoot yourself in the head. Um. You have one option. Give me the gun. Nah, man. This is my gun. Oh fuck! Were you some kind of fucking psycho, man? Let me go! I am a pointed-headed freak, after all. I keep slowly putting pressure. Uh. Whenever you decide to let go. The uh, fucking gun went off. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. So he just he it just it went went right past his head. Oh, he <laughs> or where did you have it aimed? I mean, wherever he was holding it, I was just trying to apply pressure to the character. Yeah, not trying the to actually it. It was aimed at his head. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like up against his head, but it just, uh, it goes off, but it's not like, it doesn't blow his head, it blow his brains out. Maybe it just goes, it just fires off. Like, oh, fuck! Fuck! And he just, like, throws the gun at you. <laughs> I catch it. I fuck! Catch it. Let me go, you fucking crazy motherfuckers! Okay. Okay. Eat the drunk man. He just 
Oh. He's gone. Well, He's just highly entertaining. <laughs> so, uh, Connor, Connor's there with you, and uh, Barack is like, "Man, holy shit, that was fucking awesome, man! Man, let us, man, let us buy you guys some beers, man! Come on, come on!" Not needed. Oh, dude, dude, that was the fucking coolest thing I've seen since I've been on this planet. Just kind of walk back into my seat. What about right. uh, Clot? Is he gonna come in with us now? I, I don't know. There's no reason he couldn't. There's no security. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ooh. I guess I'll sit up Excellent head. point. Yeah, no one, no one pack checked you, Clot. It's. I guess, I guess I do kind of have a little cape, so maybe they wouldn't see it. All I have is a fucking vibro axe. So. Oh, that's not bigger than you. No, you're right. It's, fair, it's a one-handed weapon to me. Oh. So. Sir, sir, is there any, anything I can get for you? She's talking to you, Claude. Uh, uh, three beers. Th th three beers? Three. I hold out three beers. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> all right. So. All right, guys. Comes the uh, that same guy comes back to you. That was pretty funny. But what happened outside? Did you end up killing him? No, he almost shot himself, though, so I took his gun from him. And I pat the gun that's holstered on my waist. Alright, so that that was a... That was just a normal blaster. Yeah. Nothing particularly special. I unholster it and I give it to him. Is somebody messaging me right now? It was on Discord. And I just can't... Jenny was saying she was VR. Alright, Ben, it's just back. Oh, okay. I don't see that for some reason. I hear it, but the, I keep... It's on the D&D... Yeah, I'm in there, but for some reason, uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I just see like faces, like when people are talking. I don't see. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're click on the click on the text channel button, the general text channel, then you'll be able to see it. Uh, where's that? Above the voice channels. Yeah, it says above. It's above clips and highlights. Oh, okay. General, and then there you go. Got it. Now I see. I see what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know how to fly a ship. Me? No. Yeah. What about her? I do. All right. Come with me. Did he take the gun that I tried to give to him? No. He he he's let he you you still have it. Okay. I was kind of hoping I was gonna trade it back for my holdout. following whoa whoa not you her i don't need you Damn it. <laughs> you don't know how to fly i just look back at you to like e nah, that's cool reconnaissance doing the recon you're you doing got, the board work right got now com links. If, you, if you yell we'll come it's on so man why is this not working reveal your secrets dungeon master <laughs> right here, there should be a large crater. <laughs> Inconsistency zero. Out of why? Why is that? Right here. That should be a hole. This should be blown up. This is bullshit. I'm pretty sure there'd be a lot of damage over there, here. My, my, he did my immersion. That, he did mention that there's a big hole in the wall right there. I love there we had, go. I love that you had a crater like on fucking call. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Take that for your immersion. I'm so immersed right now. Eleven out of ten immersion. I feel like I'm actually there. <laughs> All right. Well, if you know how to fly, I need you to check out some of these ships because they got some damage. And he's pointing to this one over here, especially this one. The boss was flying that one. Some short hair looking teddy bear son of a bitch. Friggin' did something to our security system and made it to where our anti-air guns started shooting at our own ships. We got that fixed, but now we can't figure out how to get our ships fixed. You fix that, you're in. 
interesting. Do you have any warehouse with tools or anything? Yeah, but I'll go get them for you. You tell me what you need and I'll go get it. Uh, let me take a look. All right. Do you want me to roll anything, Adam? Mechanics. Mechanics. Port five order. Fifteen. Um, man, this ship looks like it got direct, like blaster bolt, like straight to the engine. You're gonna need like a full toolkit, and it's probably gonna take you a couple of hours to get it up and running. Okay. But you could do it. Um, from your time on Mandalore, this is similar stuff that you have fixed before. It's a different model, but you. You think you can get it, no problem. Okay, so can I, I'll tell him that I need, like, every available tool? Every available tool? What kind of, are you some kind of mechanic or something? I mean, you should know some basic mechanics if you're going to be a pilot, so. Well, you're not wrong there, because all these bastards here barely know how to fly, let alone know the difference between left and right. Look, I'll get you your tools. You just have to show me what you can do with them. Okay. So, all right. So he leaves. So can I? Uh, well, there's these other guys around here. So, but I'll just kind of look around, just not moving though. Okay. Uh, well, you can see that there's a there's a hole over here where I'm pinging in the wall. Nice. Um, you can see these are fuel tanks, all three of these. And then you can see the guns here. They seem to be powered down currently. These little crates here are missiles for the uh, the ships or the fighters here. Um, all the other ships seem to be in working order except for this one. Okay. And of course there's a giant hole right here. Some sort of explosion went off there. Is there an Ewok I'm gonna just make there? the assumption that that was probably from the last people that came through. That would be an excellent assumption. <laughs> hey, um, I'm gonna be right back. But whenever, okay. whatever's going on up here, I was gonna get Mia's attention and come sit over here with Clot whenever that gets. Yeah. Okay. It's doing it's just FYI. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So, Clot, uh, you can see that uh, Prez is motioning for you to come over to the bar. All right. And uh, Mia turns to you and says, "Oh, sir, I I actually got those three beers for you here. I didn't. I was gonna bring them to you. I'm sorry if it took too long." Oh, okay. Uh, well, let me know if you need more. So she just kind of she just kind of leaves to go back to uh, serving. I said, uh, bartender comes up to you. What the hell? What kind of what kind of monster are you? It's talking to you, Clot. The tall kind. <laughs> well. What planet are you from? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's 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 been. I don't think my planet exists anymore. At least I can't find it. Cybertron. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, it, it, well, do you need more beer totally, while you try to figure it out? Totally real. Like they lost their. Oh no no yeah. no! That's fine. I'm just I like if. No, no, no. I'm no. I didn't. I wasn't taking that as you don't know. I'm just doing it as the person. <laughs> uh, well, if I mean, do you need more beer to deal with that? I mean, if you lost your whole planet and you can't find it, I would imagine you would need more alcohol. It's okay. I got three. Alrighty. And I well, uh. All right. Well, you just let me know if you need something. 
All right, so Jenny, or excuse me, Carday mm -hmm. comes back and says, all right, here's the tools. Let's see what you can do. All right, this is going to take me a little bit, but you're welcome to stay and watch just in case. Yeah, I'm not sure if I trust you just yet, so I'm going to stay and make sure you're not doing anything I... that's going to cause harm to the ship. Understandable. No. Okay. You need to roll. Uh, no, you already rolled high on mechanics. Okay. So you're good. It's just going to take time. Okay. Um, let's see. I know Dick was probably going to talk to that weird chick about getting off world at some point so I could take over. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, uh, no homeboy. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I feel bad about hearing about your planet, so he, he gives you, like, some extra strong. This isn't... This here ain't beer, sir. This is a, uh, this is liquor, and this is some pretty strong stuff. So, you, but um, how would you feel about some female companionship? <laughs> uh, sure, I say. All right. Well, here you follow me. So he ha he's like motioning for you to come behind the bar. Alright, so you guys go out that exit, and let me reveal the hallway here. Alright, you just follow me here. As long as you stick with me, you'll be alright. Alright, so through here is our, uh, our brothel, and uh, you just have to walk in there and see if maybe you can... Uh, find something you like but uh... just kinda try not to walk in make sure you knock on the doors make sure no one's in a room already we're kinda particular about that I, I, I nod at him and uh... he kinda looks at you and gives you like the once over and uh... just says uh... try not to damage the merchandise It's hidden because their rooms are closed. There's no answer at that at that door. Oh, you're not. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Okay. Uh, probably just shouldn't go around killing everybody. What the f what the fuck are you doing in here? Open the door, I said I knocked. What No 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 no, what are you doing in this area? Who let you in here? Why did he let you in here? Female companionship. Do I look like a female? Try a different door! Uh, all look the same to me. Alright. This one. We all look the same to you! What the hell does that mean? Humans. So, oh, sir, kind sir. Uh, d d uh, I'll, I'll take it from here, Jack. I'll take it from here, Jack. God dang it. He goes back inside. He's 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 the boss here. Um, he's just waiting for uh, for someone to uh, spend some time with. But in the meantime, how what how can I help you, sir? Uh, bar, barkeep told me to come look for some Yes, we, we came to the right place. There's no better brothel on Duxon. In fact, we're the only one. And <laughs> she just kind of laughs. So. What do you have? Do you fancy something particular? Is there something specific that you're looking for, or anything will work for you? Uh, anything? Question mark. Do you prefer a female or a male companion? A uh, female. 
Okay. We'll uh, we'll come right this way. It's good that I knocked on the first door. Like, I could have knocked on the wrong door and not known where the boss was. It's true. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I mean, that just like no kidding was like I didn't move him there because you knocked on that door. He was already in that room. <laughs> Well, this this here is is Faye, and she'll take good care of you. It really is Faye. Holy it shit. Really is. Cool. But we charge by the hour, so that'll be one hundred credits. Okay. I'll hand over the money. For the first hour. All right. Enjoy. She's going to be able to hear you say that. <laughs> uh, the fake. Binary. No. Does Nick speak binary? <laughs> I do not. Damn it. <laughs> well, haven't our comms been open? Wouldn't we have heard that, though? Uh, that, yeah, that's true. Yeah, y'all yeah, would have heard it. You all would have heard me saying, oh. Oh, no. You, you would have heard... Uh, Brandy say it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys know already. Okay. Good. So, but they don't know your where it is. You're about to get it on, okay? I, I don't think I am. But that involves getting out of armor, and that's really difficult. So she she's sitting on the bed, and Pat's for you to come sit on the bed with her. Oh dear, honey. And she's like trying to like rub your leg. She's rubbing Ma maybe the maybe instead of talking about about this we should be acting on it. You should you should let those frustrations go. And you can you can let them go on me. She want you to her. <laughs> and I look at her and if you know what I mean. Wait, come back! Don't leave. Okay. Okay. Come back in here. Look, you can't leave. You can't leave like that. You, you've got to at least stay in here, even if you don't want to do anything. Okay. I, I nod. If she finds out, oh, okay. She's. It's not gonna. She's not gonna do anything to you, but she'll freaking beat the shit out of me. Look, what are you even doing here on this planet? Or what are you even doing here in the brothel then if you're not trying to find companionship? I swear. Just tell her I'm shy. That doesn't make any sense. Just tell her I'm shy. Well. And also, I think I'd kill you. Well, I, I appreciate I'm that, but. She just sits down. To, it's fine. To, it's hard to find true love, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. We can go into that conversation. I'm just trying to keep her talking. Well, how how did you get here on planet? A uh, spaceship. Do you have a spaceship? I don't personally. Smart have ass. Well. I was drunk. Do you think, do you, she kind of like, kind of like peeks towards the door, she says, do you think you could get me out of here? Are you like uh, starting a hooker revolution? Maybe, um, that depends, do you have any information that might be useful, but it's, I, I lean in real close. Information? Well, I know. I, I haven't been here too long, but there's a lot of there's a lot of girls in this part. I'm not allowed to leave this area, but I know some of the other girls have been in some of the different portions. 
or like the tavern or the cargo holds or even the hangar but ever since that shootout they had a couple of weeks ago security's been kind of tight but they lost some of their men so they haven't been able to replenish their ranks since then so they haven't really been letting anybody back there past the hallway unless they can do something for the game He's, he's waiting for the mistress to find him somebody, someone special. I don't know, he, he's he's looking for a certain, certain kind of girl, and I'm not it. I tried, but I wasn't it. I don't know. I don't know what he's really looking for. He's not looking for any of the girls here. He's probably already had everybody here. He but... had I don't like where that conversation's going right now. <laughs> I like how Nick likes <laughs> he hasn't had. I wonder if he likes nine foot tall three hundred and fifty pound aliens that live for thousands of years. Um, it didn't seem no, like no, he's 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 looking for female companionship. He's definitely not looking for a man. Are you assuming it's gender? <laughs> no, he's he's a man. We're we talking about the captain, right? Um, are we talking about you? When I saw the boss, did he have weapons on him? Oh yeah. Okay, so he wasn't unarmed, and he wasn't already like you know like getting ready for somebody to show up. It's not like he was, you know. He. It looked like he was waiting for somebody, but whenever you came in, he thought you were that somebody. Yeah. And when you, whenever not that you came in, but when you knocked on the door, he opened the door. Because he thought. No, no, no. He's kind of just waiting. I don't even remember. I'm working for these people now. I'm pretty sure. Where did the little thingy go? Uh, he does look a little injured. Uh, Not no. much. You said a little thingy? Yeah, sorry, the mission the info. It should still be there. Yeah, I'm looking at you it right can, now. No, you it's can ca click it's, on it's the it's Galactic captured. News Network. It's captured. They don't want it dead. Uh, Mine's gone. I think I closed it by accident. No, no, you go to the tabs above the sidebar, baby. Um, I ask her, hey, you, uh, you worked at this one. Have have they moved you around to any different bases or anything like that? Because I know I know this gang has more bases. Yeah, there's there are other bases, but this is the only one with a brothel. All the other ones are just like fueling and some sort of like staging area, I guess, where they just kind of meet from time to time, depending on what area of the galaxy they're raiding but I mean I don't know I'm not really involved in that gotcha. well I mean you're, you're in the brothel they must talk oh yeah of course they tell me all kinds of stuff they told you like, but, their big plan for being on the planet do they brag to you at all well the time I was with the boss I mean, I probably shouldn't be telling you this. Uh, just, just forget it. Well, I, I, I may be able to get you off planet. Is that what? Uh, yeah, but I don't know you, and I don't know what you're capable of. I know what he's capable of. I know what all these guys are capable of. I, wa I wave my hand in front of my chest, and I, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm nine feet tall and three hundred feet. I don't know. One one guy by himself trying to take on the whole syndicate here. I don't. No, no, I don't not think. Trying to take the bond, just trying to get you out. 
I don't know. I don't know how you would be able to do that. How would you do that? Um, sneak you out of here. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. You could hop onto my back. If you get me out, if you get me out, then I'll talk to you about the plan. But if I'm stuck here, I gotta. I gotta. I can't see anything because if they ever find out, then. I'll pay. I'll pay dearly. Okay. So we can get some information out of her. But if I try to sneak her out now, that would interrupt you doing your fixing of that ship. So I'm not going to do that because you are surrounded. I know this is meta, but I I know she's surrounded by enemies right now, so I'm not going to do anything that jeopardizes. Okay. And um, all so right. I, I guess I just tell her. Well, I'll see if I can come up with a plan. And uh, until now, I guess I'll do. Or until then, I'm just gonna sit here and wait out my hour. All right, Nick. What are you doing? Um, where is Nia? Oh. Huh. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna maneuver myself to a table. I'm feeling hungry. Mm. Alright. You like you're waving her down? Yeah. Okay. Yes. How, how can I help you? Did you ever get a, uh, 15 minute break around here well she looks over towards the bar I guess I'm kind of on a break right now sounds good have a seat she kind of she's looks kind of nervous um, okay so she sits across from me Kind of, uh, what is, what's going on? I kind of I need her to be a little closer, so I'm gonna move to that chair. <laughs> I just kind of so leave. She, she she gets real nervous and she kind of just looks around. I tell her, so you still want off this planet? Well, yeah, but I don't. I can't. I can't pay pay you. There's a way to I, have access to the back rooms. I yes, but why would you want that? Look, the less you know, she's starting to get like real uncomfortable. The less you know about why I'm here, the better it is for the both of us. I just need a little I, information. That's all. Okay, well, you'll have to, I mean, whatever it is, is you got to make it quick. I point I mean, over towards that door. Okay. You're able to go through those doors? Yeah, I have access all the way to the warehouse. I just can't get into the hangar. You can go into the warehouse? Yeah, that's where all the beer's at. And alcohol and food and everything. Hmm. Bartender's not there? Not there. How long has he been gone? Oh, he's been gone a while. Interesting. Okay. Look. Um. Damn, I really want to get back there. But these homies are. Ask her to take you through the brothel area. Yeah. Yeah, but everyone knows she doesn't go back there. It's the only problem. You know what? I know this isn't normally your thing, but 
would you mind escorting me through the brothel? She starts like blushing. I'm I'm not that kind of girl. I know that. Sure, yeah. Yeah, don't don't <laughs> lie to yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't know if I could do that. We just need to get through. Is there some kind of a another route? Somewhere else we could go? What is it that you're trying to do? Like I said, I just need you to get me towards the warehouse. From there, I have my own business to take care of. And as a reward for That's... your help, I will make it my mission to get you off world. She just kind of looks down at the table. This, this is too risky. Uh, you can try and use persuasion, or roll persuasion. Okay. Let me see what my persuasion is. And while you're doing that, uh, Jenny, or Corday, yeah. you actually are able to finish up fixing that, um, that engine. I... Uh, way sooner than you expected. Only an eight for persuasion. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't. Thank you, though. And she just walks away. Well, I can definitely get this girl out, and she can get us in. So I just don't want to do it with her mm -hmm. stuck in the back of the hangar and surrounded. I don't think we're gonna be able to kidnap. Well, I mean, there's only one guy in between us and getting out the front. We may be able to kidnap. But the question is, if our speeder will work. <laughs> Yeah, and if there's another speeder outside that we could steal. Nick, you want to see if you can get info on, on a cable to steal? Because I think yeah. Marvin's going to break. There's, there's plenty, you guys, whenever y'all came in, there's plenty of speeders out front. Yeah. Or I can just steal ship. I can't fit that. Uh, these, these ships here are two-seater. Well, I was thinking more of, like, cover, fire, but... <laughs> Oh, okay. But you could do that too. Needed. Yeah, all these ships are armed and fu fueled. They could be taken. They could, you know, you could take off with them real quick. Um. So the guy's like, "Well, I'll be. You actually able were able to repair that damn thing. Well, here, grab your tools and, and follow me. Right. And he he grabs some too to just help you." Pleasantly surprised. Well, I must say I am pleasantly surprised as well, because I thought you were just full of shit. So he comes this way. So right, we're going into the warehouse here. My 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 uh, focus is entirely on my palm link right now. Give me a second to get the reveal thing going here. All right. If you'll just uh, put them in here in this in this uh, storage area. All right. Thank you. We'll uh, have you go ahead and uh, step out now. We'll have you go back to the tavern. We'll let you know if we need you for anything else. I do like a little salute so, and walk away. Okay. Uh, he he kind of doesn't know what to do, and he just imitates what you did and said, uh, alrighty then. <laughs> oh, boy. Does that door work for you? <laughs> I'm just going to put you in the tavern oh, for simplicity. What? The fuck? what? Wait, did you want to do something different? No, I'm just fucking around. I'm not even playing as her. I was hoping you'd like. Oh. Something. Well, I mean. All right, you walk into the hallway. I mean, hallway. would they let me? They didn't. He's not escorting you. Okay. So you have a door here. Oh wait, you can't see that. 
You have a door here. You have a door here. A door here. <laughs> uh, way at the end. And then the one you just came through. What does this one go into? I don't know. Go in. I'm gonna go in. Can I go in? Roll mechanics. Twenty-two. Yeah. If there's a person in there, you'd be like, "Oh shit!" Oh crap! He's got his back to you. Okay, I'm gonna go back out then. Is it like a computer room? This is like some big giant like computer network server room. Okay. Good to know. I'll note that for later. So this guy can't really see you because of the boxes. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna call me both. Whoever can answer. And be like, okay, I'm like in the back area. Is there anything y'all need me to do? Yeah. I'm not having any luck in the tavern. I mean, as far as sabotage goes, like, we can get info if we take this girl with us. And I was thinking maybe just fragging those fuel tanks I saw. That would really fuck them up. Yeah. Um, Praz, where are you at? In the tavern. Do you want me to come back to you? Or where are you at, Clot? Do I want to know? Uh, I'm, I'm with somebody who has information. That's all. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do this. Okay. And close. <laughs> yeah, and close. And um, I'm going to tell her, hey, I'm going to get you in. And I'm going to let um, oh, I, I'm Jenny, I, I, I fixed your character's name. I'm it's Corday. It's okay. Corday. Um, that I'm gonna sneak somebody out front who has info, but we'll probably have to steal a speeder. I well, I mean, right now. I, I can give you some time to get up front. I'm not gonna do it now. Now. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe you can go out there and take a look and see if you find a speeder you like. Sure. Thank you, knock. Knock, knock. Mm. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Hey! Hey! What are you doing there, mate? Oh, sorry. I'm a little lost. New. Well, well, you know anything about computers? Uh, yeah. Uh, not really. I'm more on the mechanic side. Hey, well, he kind of looks around. Hey, come in here real quick. Uh, okay. Fuck that computer. Ugh. <laughs> I hear that, and I start making my way the, towards the uh, bar to these fellas. While this is going on, let this happen. What's up, mate? Man, ever since that battle two weeks ago, there's, all this shit's been messed up, and I don't know how to... F the guy that normally fixes this shit ain't alive anymore, so they keep telling me that I gotta fix it, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, I... If you know how to fix anything here, uh, I mean... Just take a look and see what you see, or can find out, and if you can fix it, it would be a real big help. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Alright. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go stand guard in case somebody, because I'm not I mean, I just need help for a little bit. Okay. I'll be right here. I'll leave, I'm gonna leave the door open though. Okay. Case. Can I like 
is, do I even have anything on me that I can take information with? Probably not. A uh, data pad. Huh? Everybody's got a data pad. Oh, okay. Well. So it, it would be like a f flash drive, kind of. You could put stuff on it. Okay, yeah. Information. I'll do that and act like I'm trying to look into, you know, Shit. fixing the systems. I will say, <laughs> let's roll mechanics. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you roll gather information. Even though this is like a talking thing, it's gonna be like you talking to the computer. Where? Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, I it's only four. Okay, so you're having no problem getting into the computer, Thank you. but you're having a little trouble navigating through the computer. Um, I'm just going to make a comment, damn, those people fucked y'all up last time, huh? <laughs> yeah, no shit. This damn thing's been barely been held together for the last two weeks. So what do you think? You think you're going to be able to fix it? Uh. I'm a shrug and be like, I I can attempt it, but I can't promise anything. Will you attempting it make it any worse? I mean, honestly, dude, it's pretty fucked up right now. I don't think it can get any worse. Uh, Rolt, uh, do you have technology? Uh, Knowledge? Like a used computer or some shit like that? There's a used computer, but I only have a one. That's why I was saying I'm not really. It's just like. Oh, just you like roll me. that. Roll yeah. that. Uh, so nine if I'm using computer. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're you're able to um, determine that there's. An extensive network on the planet of uh, five different uh, subsidiary bases or like smaller bases. They're simply just hangar bays with small fighter escorts. So there's five of them. Each base has four fighters. Um, so that would be you know a total of twenty. There's twenty fighters, uh, not including this base. Um, each base has roughly ten to twenty guys at it. And they're all stockpiling, stockpiling weapons and goods, um, and they're, they're, they keep making reference to the collective when you're looking through it. You're, but it doesn't really give you any insight into who that is. It just says that they're gathering supplies and weapons for the collective. Okay, I'm gonna just save that little tidbit to my data pad and then keep trying to actually like fix the computers make it seem like I'm doing shit okay uh, yeah. Nick Prez what are you doing uh, I was gonna try to talk these guys up a little bit okay uh, hey uh, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot when we first met uh, I wanted to make that up to you uh, drinks on me. So, I was hearing rumor that in the back hallway, there is a stash of some really good spotchka. Um, <laughs> if you would be One so point for Gryffindor. to allow me to dirty some spotchka. Yeah, yeah, we can't, we can't let anybody back there. First and the captain, no, the captain would kill us if he ever found out about that. That's that's his me? own personal. I don't know, man. That the captain is. That's one one man you don't trifle with. Okay. Well, I'll put it to you this way. I'm new. You don't really know me. So, if anything, you can blame it on me, because I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't had good spotchka in a long time. And I'm willing to grab a solid pup of it right now. So they kind of look at each other. 
Uh, roll persuasion. Hell. Twenty-one. Yes, sir. It's on the sideboard. All right, man. Well, I mean, he hands over the card to you. He kind of slides it on the table under a napkin. He's like, "All right, man. But if you get busted with that, I'm denying everything, and I'm probably gonna have to end up killing you." Hey, worth it for a little bit of spotchka. You know what I mean? I take the napkin and the card. All right. And I waddle my ass. Yonder ways. Waddle waddle. Waddle. When I get here, I want to attempt to copy that key card onto my data pad. Uh, roll use computer. Wah, I fail. That's not even charged. It, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Damn, it didn't charge it. It's not working. Okay. Well, it's I open working. the door. Alright. And you scare the bejesus out of this dude. Hey, 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 wh what are you doing? What are you doing? What am I doing? I was... I was told to, uh, come check on our little mechanic. She should be in the hangar right now. Where is she at now? Oh, uh... Oh, she's busy right now. Busy where? I try to look past him. He, he shuts the door. Uh, <laughs> I, I Who is that? Uh... Hey man, go mind your own business. It's, 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 a, business. it's okay, it's okay. No. That was the repair no, person. Yeah. That was the that was the mechanic. What is she doing in there? Repairing! Now beat it! Oh man. The captain's gonna want to hear about this. It's our kinda. Whoa, 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 buddy, 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 buddy! Hey, 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 hey! Stop. Whoa, whoa, come back here. What? Hey man. You ain't gonna be like that, man. I mean, how does it have to be then? I don't know. You're the one blackmailing me. What? The, what, what do you want? Blackmail? You're actually allowing someone in there that's not supposed to be. Motherfucker! Look, don't say anything, man. I'm just trying to get the base back up and running. Oh, we'll see. That's all you had to say. You don't gotta be man. so shady about it, man. Not everyone's a narc. The door's closed. You could really break those computers right now. I'm trying to distract him for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah. Maybe there's like, I don't know, a used computer way you could break it where it's not super obvious. Yeah, that's what I would would think. Yeah. Alright, roll it. Roll nat 20. Roll nat 20. That one, that it's one. fourteen. Oh. Okay. Um, if I'm using computer, then fourteen, yes. Yeah. If you're so you're using you're essentially trying to get like some sort of Trojan horse on there. And it's actually starting to transmit the data from the syndicate to the uh, base. And, to our um, base. Yeah, you're offloading the, you're dumping the files off of it, and as it's dumping, it's just erasing everything. Nice. Um, yeah. But but they're they're gonna know they're gonna know that that it's happening. What the next time they look at it. Okay. So as long as they're not looking at that computer, uh -oh. you, the more data you're gonna get. But as soon as they find out, they're gonna know something's up. All right, so. Or at least this guy's gonna know. Yeah. That guy right there's gonna know. That guy. This guy that let a stranger into the ship computer room. Mm -hmm. It's been about an hour, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna step out, adjust my pants. I. Uh, I'm gonna um shut. For no reason. Do we have enough data that we would need? Uh oh. I feel like I feel like I'm about to get ratted out on. They're probably listening. You had a. Um, breathing. A lot of data, yes. Okay, I'm gonna shut everything down, 
to make it look like I'm giving it a break. Oh yeah, you can do a live being like, hey, it's rebooting. It'll come up in about like five minutes, so it can be better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm walking out here um, to look for potential escape vehicles. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna ask this guy, I was like, hey, okay, man to man. I know I gave you some shit earlier, and I apologize, but I heard that the captain has a little bit of vodka. I'm trying to grab a glass, but not enough that he'd notice, you know? I was gonna share it, you know, with the rest of the guys, and then you can have some food. Oh, man. I hadn't had Spotchka in a long time, man. That's what I've been saying. And it's right here. Nah, man, it's it's further back in the warehouse. It's not That's these crates. Shit. Is it even worth going back there to get it? Shit. How bad do you want that Spotchka? Really bad. Are you willing to die for it? Adam, those, those yeah. weapons that this guy took. Yeah, that's what I was gonna also wonder. You don't know. Oh, he didn't like put them like anywhere around here. He actually like took them somewhere. Yes. He's holding all the shit. I'm gonna go ask him. That. He's got it up his butt. Well, I tell this guy that okay. it is probably one of the best things to drink. It is. It's almost like a source of life itself. Oh, once you've had it, you just gotta keep having it. Well, if you're gonna go get it, you, you're gonna have to go to that warehouse up there on the right. Oh, God. But, uh, if you get caught, you're a dead man. I mean, uh, this is almost sounding not worth it. You're making it a lot less fun for me. Well, depending on who you're talking to, it might make it more fun. That's very true. Oh. Hey, hey, uh, what'd you, what'd you figure out in there? Well, I cleaned out the system the best I could, so it's rebooting right now, so give it about maybe 15, 20 minutes to fully, like, you know, restart, reboot. 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit of time. Oh my you have a big god. system. Oh my god. Just think of it this way. It wouldn't be working at all if she hadn't shown up. Hey, Look, are you gonna go get that spotchka? Man. Spotchka? Dude, you're not supposed to have that. You go fucking insane. What? Insane? Yeah, if you. There's a reason we don't let you have that shit anymore, bro. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't used to have these horns on my head before I started drinking spotchka, so. What the hell? Yeah, this maybe is a bad idea. Do you still want some, dude? Nah, man, not if, I mean, if you're going to go get some and you're going to take all the risks, then sure, but I'm not going to get it. I just don't want any more horns on my head. I'm going to go try well, to get it laid. Uh, Alright, uh, later. Weird guy. <laughs> and he shuts the door. Uh, excuse right. me, buddy, I have a companion here with me, I'm need to get through. Holy shit. Are you from Mandalore? She is. She doesn't talk. That's perfect! That's what I said. Oh, God. So do me a favor, man. Kill in daylight. Look. Look. No, no, no. Look, man. Is she like your... Is she like your slave or something? I, I look back at her. Do you own her? Take my head. Look, 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 the boss is looking for somebody just like her. Okay. Man, he'll, I mean, there's lots of money involved, man. He's been looking for somebody just like her for, like, at least a month. Well, but at least let me in one of the rooms. How could they can tell I'm from Mandalore? Because I told all, them. All the fine looking girls are from Mandalore, man. Let me through. She <laughs> just got done fixing up the ship. She's dirty. Mm. I'm trying to. I the way it's for it. I'm like I'm trying to pop a feel, man. Man, dude. Man, try to make sure the boss doesn't see her, though, man. Cause yeah, I know. 
All right, man. He opens the door. All right, go for it. All right. Do what you gotta do, man. I wink at him as we walk by. Oh my. I'm like so oh, fast walking. Oh god, I'm in love. <laughs> okay, this is where I wanted to be right here. With plot. <laughs> Alright. What a. Uh, what can I do for you, sir? I think we have a lot of information. I'm well, ready to get out of this motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, wait, where are you going? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> what? You start leaving, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no. This is the, the, the front door guy. He's fine. He's not gonna kill you. Uh, I just, I need my shit. Oh, yeah, well, you gotta get it from the front door guy. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. I'll stand here. You guys are trying to leave? No, no, no. I'm trying to get my stuff back. Yeah, so you're trying to leave. Well, I'm not trying to <laughs> you don't get your stuff back unless you're trying to leave. I work security here. How am I going to function without anything? No, oh, God. I don't know if I believe that. What are you talking about? Do you people not communicate with each other? Well, we have daily meetings. Okay, well, a lot can happen in a span of an hour. Look, I, if I don't know about it, you're not getting your weapons, alright? It's that simple. Okay. I, I, I point at them and I said they got hired. And if you're leaving, you can get your weapons. Okay. You, Nick, get your weapons and get out. I just need my shit. Yeah, and, and I... Alright, come on. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go. Get your weapons and get out, and I'll stay here with, uh, with her. And we can put together a plan to... Were you really doing that? Then I don't know. He gives you your weapons. I think yeah, you we should just try to leave. I thought we were All just right. Leave. Here, here, here's your weapons, man. Thanks. You're welcome. I mean, uh, you hear like somebody getting like slapped. Oh, uh, we need to. Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go investigate. Plot. What's he doing? I don't know. So, you see in the that guy that you saw earlier over in this room has the girl that you were talking to by the throat, and he's just slapping the shit out of her. Slap the shit out of you. And the and uh, this girl over here is just watching. And then as you kind of knock on the door, she turns to you and says. I'm sorry, but this room's closed. And then she shuts the door. I kind of, I kind of peek my head in. Uh, what are you doing? Find a speeder. I'm gonna get the boss. All right, you gonna what? Give, give me a pair of your handcuffs. Uh. Hey, 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 hey! You're leaving. Bye. I am, but he's trying to do some kinky shit. And I hand him my binders. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. He grabs him. What? Nope. No, but, no. It's okay. I don't no. Know. I am. Okay. <laughs> Give me my binders back. That's not allowed. Here, he gives them back to you. Shit. Okay, you guys I just gotta duck around the corner. There's a there's a hole over here if y'all need to get back in for some reason. Okay. I'm gonna knock on the door again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just for, just for tokens, take. Me being gone, I'm just gonna like dip mm -hmm. here. Just... So I'm off. Okay. What? You're off? Well, no, no, no. I'm you, I'm moving over my token out of the way. Like, I'm not here stuff. anymore. You're going to the hole? Yeah. Uh, I know he mentioned something about a hole. Set some detonators. <laughs> I think he only has frag grenades. So well, good detonators. enough. Fact, technically, three, three second, second detonators. detonators so. Boom, boom. Look, I already told you. He's, she's talking to you, Clot. I told you, get out of here. This room's closed. Uh, I, I let her know I, I left something in that room. I just gotta grab it. There's nothing in here. It's under the bed. And, and I, I already checked under the bed. There's nothing in here. Now get out of here. It's a family heirloom, and I, and I start to walk in the door. 
Oh my god. <laughs> They let you in. <laughs> you squisher. Look, motherfucker. Is there something wrong? What, what, get what? your shit and out of here. Get your shit and get out of here. Mind your own fucking business. Okay, guys, you ready? Uh. uh no one wants to. They, 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 like they look at each head. other and go, ready for what? What the fuck are you talking about? You big fucking hairy freak! I grab one of my frag grenades and I chuck it right onto the fuel tanks. Oh fuck. And I start fucking running. Ah, oh, just get out of there. And I roll the 24 grapple. Oh. <laughs> and I just, I, I just kinda so... get away. Make sure his exit clear, I guess. I'm gonna take my gun out and shoot. Oh, oh no! Maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. You said it. They don't know yet. Until the explosion goes off, he doesn't know, so don't don't Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm gonna go see if there's a speeder out in the thing. Gotta slow it down for me here, guys. <laughs> we need real time updates. A, a shitty oh, one apparently. No. So he threw a grenade and I got it. Oh you just killed people. I did and I, and I would like to point out that I put my hand over the boss's mouse when I grabbed that crap one. But you roll on the grapple. 24. 24. 24. I have a really high. I'm a big, big. Dude. I know. No, I know. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like strength and size modifiers. Oh, yeah. You get plus five for your size. Yeah. Mm. I'm the big boy. Big boy. All right. So, Nick said he threw a grenade in there. You hear just massive explosion. Just. Boom! I, I ran, by the way. I'm like and there's just the super amount of like smoke, debris. Hopefully that will make all those guys go to the hangar. I'm hoping. That was the intent. And that's also why I grappled the boss so that he can't call for help. We're gonna do this, boys. I don't know, I was thinking I should come in there and help with the bitches. Hey, hey, cat, fuck off. <laughs> Nick's like, yeah. huh, I'm back. All right, so, so you are grabbing the like, boss. What the fuck was that? Whenever it blows up. Yeah, I have the boss. Okay, so this this girl just starts screaming. That's fine. She's screaming. Help! Help! Uh, and then this and starts, this girl yelling. grabs your vibro axe. She grabs my vibro axe. Who yep. does? That's dumb. And she attacks her. Oh, oh, oh dope. She's also dumb now. And she was screaming. <laughs> And she's like, we have to, we have to fucking go right fucking did now. The explosion happen? Is my question. The explosion has uh, happened. Did we hear the scream from where we were at? You heard someone scream for help. Okay. I tell to the doorman. And he goes, "What the fuck was hey, that, hey. man? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on?" Hey, go check on the tavern. Make sure everyone's okay. I'm gonna check on the Okay. Tables. All right. All right. <laughs> and he runs off. I look in the door. I'm like, "What the fuck?" There's just, this girl's just like, whenever you open the door, you can't open the door. Uh, Prez. I'm gonna kick the door. Uh, I say, clot! Clot! I say, move away. I'm gonna kick the door down. What'd you say? <laughs> said, move, we have calm links. Move! <laughs> yeah, move. I wanted him to hit me with the door, but okay. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Everyone calm down. Go back to your rooms. Fuck that! The fucking building's on fire! Everyone get out of here! Okay, I'm just gonna have to keep so, like, When the door opens, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say, Nick, I need you to put binders on them. Gotcha, I've already got them out. That's why I was coming to the room for. Okay, do I have to make an right. roll to... I mean, I'm... 
Actually, oh, since no, I'm put up, him, just put him on. Okay, yeah, okay. Put him on, Nick. I've come in. Guys, we gotta go. Up. We gotta go. And then I pick him up. And... She just takes off right in. Yeah. Ah, I want her to come with us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck, she's fat. No, she is. I mean, she is. She's just getting out of the okay, entrance. So, we've got so you, this, the, you've you've rescued you've rescued that you've eh, you have rescued that person. Do you want to go back in and get Mia yeah, or potentially investigate yeah. what's going on in the warehouse? You leave Mia out of this. We already got other info. We're good. Nope. I want Mia. We have the peeking into the tavern. <laughs> the best source of. Go I'm gonna go check to see if we can get Speeder. Yeah, go yeah. I'm assuming that we've got a bunch of chaos in here at this moment. Is Mia in there? Oh yeah, yeah. Just all the, all the guards are going to the back. Okay, I yell at Mia and those and those two homies. Okay. Oh yeah, one of these guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the guys I was talking to before. Uh, what was his name? I yeah. Remember. But it was Barack Connor. Connor and Mia. Yeah. I think, hey, mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, come on. Like, oh, fuck, yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. We're going to need another speeder. <laughs> Let's go. There's probably one big enough to follow us. Yeah, we're going. We're, going. we're, we're evacuating. Evac. Okay, so I am moving all the people. So y'all have already extracted... Just in case you need me to roll another grapple check the whole time. Oh, damn, off of a sick. Where's... Uh, <laughs> sorry, you, I'm moving y'all. Monster. <laughs> All right, so y'all have extracted f five people currently. Oh, yeah. Um, y'all got the boss. You're downloading the intel. Uh, you've completely destroyed their air force or it's their starfighter capability. Yeah. No, all of them are blown up at this base. Yeah, that's what we've been. Um, the only thing potentially is that uh, back in the warehouse, there the they told you that there was potentially hostages there. Shit. Unfortunate for them. They did do a good job. It's it's up to you guys. So what I have. All of my, all, no, 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 it, literally, it's up to you guys. So, the way that I had all this initially set up was, again, you can abort at any time, but the more objectives you accomplish, the higher the payout, um, the more um, perks y'all are going to get. Um, I mean, so, like, you have, like, your normal difficulty, like, you know, and then it goes all the way up to, like, legendary. If you are to somehow completely get go back there and get the hostages and rescue them that would be like the best you could possibly do Fuck me. A lot of i kind of actually would like to have a jet so so like so yeah. like what i'm trying to say is uh um, i don't think they'd be able to fight the legendary difficulty of this particular encounter would be to actually go and get them but part of that being like legendary means that you're taking a significant risk correct well, everyone would be distracted right now with the explosion, so... Yeah, they'd be in that hallway yes. right there, though. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. a stealthy boy, though. That's my, that's my big thing, is I'm a stealthy boy. Stealth through a fucking hallway. Hey, fuck off. Hey, are there any, like, on the... No openings on this side, were there? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask on the east side of the facility. Is there anywhere we can... I see it. No, but you can make a that's hole. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, two frag grenades. Yeah, let's let's yeah, let's put grenades on this wall. And one of one of us or two of us. But you don't know where the hostages are. Gotta take a risk. One or two of us need to go with the people we just rescued and take them back to base. Like that is. One of us needs to go right now and take Jack to base. Well, Connor, Barack, Mia, and Faye, for all intents and purposes, work for you guys. Okay. Can we just give them the coordinates of yeah. where the base is and tell them to go there? Yeah, give them, steal them a speeder and tell them to go. Yeah. And when they get there. Uh, though you got to figure out you got, but you got to figure out what you're gonna do with Jack then. Uh, we tell, uh, hey, if that's if that's the case, we tell them to keep him on lockdown. I, I say we steal a speeder, 
and go around to this side with it. Yes. Oh. Yes. Let's see if we can blow through the wall. Knock his ass out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've Knock got a big grapple. I'll just, I'll just choke him out until he goes unconscious. Oh, for like between him being bound by you and in binder cuffs, whatever you want to do to him, you can do, and you don't even need to roll it right now. If you got in a straight up fight with him, though, that would have been really bad. To the head, right now. I think you just smack him with his bone. Yeah. Do you have a normal D4 of damage because of your size, or is it a D6? I'm sure it's a D6. I will be right back. Okay. Okay. So let's figure this out. So we want to bust in through the back, right? Yeah. Or we want to go up here. We should switch side. Off in the speeder, and they're definitely over here. So I think we should try to blow a hole in the wall. We want to go more middle. Like we don't know where they're at. We can fucking blow them. I don't. But we're gonna have to take a risk. Wherever you want to put the grenades, we can. That is where the warehouse would be, and this facility's really not that huge. So that would be the only place they'd be keeping them at this point. Yeah. Could load them up on the speeder. Unless they're in any of these bedrooms. And a whole lot of them are in the hangar, so it'll take them a sec to get over there. It's true. Well, I mean, while we're walking through, we can check, the, like, we can just open the doors and look real quick, you know? Well, there's not any doors. We're gonna blow a hole in the wall and look in real quick. I meant in the brothel, just in case they were like, aha, they were in the brothel the whole time, you idiots. And if we kill them, it's probably a better fate, so. You yeah. Know. It's true. Yeah, I think we have a plan then. So which wall, where are we doing this exactly? Like here or here? Uh, you pick so I would say the corner would be the, like, well, in the corner. I mean, this is the, that's the whole wall on the right side. So you pick Correct. and we'll put it on the wall. I don't know what this is. It looks kind of like if cool. I thought that this was part of, like, this pole of shit right here. Oh, I could just draw. What am I doing? Oh, wait, no. Warehouse is this. We're looking at the hallway right here, so you have to. Yeah. Add okay. I drew. Line. I drew a line, and then it just not there. Yeah, it has to at least be here. This whole thing is the warehouse. This whole. Yeah. So we have hallway here where I'm pinging. Yeah. And hallway. So you blow up at least this low. Yeah. We should be okay. Is that the plan, then? Here. Whatever. There we are, marking. Or there. Yeah. Here. Or here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Is it okay? Is that so? We're gonna swing through. Does yeah, do one of y'all? I can charge and in. We'll charge in. Absorb some blaster fire because that's what I do. Okay. I made this guy really tanky. It's like a tank for damage. You have like a million HP or something. Seventy-seven. Oh, you do. I can see your. Why can't I see your character sheet? I don't even have a character sheet. What the fuck? Uh, cause I made a character sheet. How do you make a? Um, one of those names you should have access to, actually, like... I don't. Oh, gotcha. I tried. I just one have a the one I have access to is you. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think that was a mistake on this part. Hold on. Okay, guys. What do we okay. come up with? So, one of us feeling a feeder and pulling around to this side. Okay, whoever's doing that, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Oh... Um, Are you gonna you're gonna have to roll mechanics to get in. What am I doing? Are you gonna? Fill the you're gonna have to roll mechanics. Sure. I will go do this. Mechanics. To break in. Does she need to roll or? Okay, then what are you, the other two guys doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, roll for mechanics. But then what are you two doing? Um, I guess we should run ahead while she's stealing the speeder, and you can blow the hole in the wall. I'll run ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna run in and I'm just busting doors open, making sure there's no, like, random people that are gonna, like, jump out and... 20 okay. for mechanics, but not natural. Oh, yeah. You can... Yeah. No problem. You're able to get it in. And they have, like, a like a passenger van type speeder. And it'll fit everybody that you have currently and your group and, and some more. I tossed unconscious Jack in there. Um, okay. Alright, Nick, pick a spot on the wall that you're going to blow up with your, your Granada. Oh, I'll, yeah, we're, I'll drive we're over there. The right here, Adam. No, uh, I wouldn't bust into the hallway. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I wanted to look in these uh, doors. I didn't make sure there wasn't oh, some... Oh, you ran inside? I was no, no, I ran in 
I ran in here to check these doors to make sure nobody else is still in here. Oh, okay. Well, well I, I'm currently using this area for who y'all have oh, okay. <laughs> in there. Perfect. So I can keep okay, it straight. I to Sorry, I meant to run to the outside wall. No, no, no. Yeah, I got that. I, I was making sure we weren't leaving somebody important in there. I don't know. Uh, instead of showing you, I'm just gonna tell you you're, you're not leaving anybody in there. I the there are tokens in there, but it's just to get them because like I'm not trying to delete them. Oh, I I'm just trying to get them out of the way. Understood. Okay, so, so um, this spot right here is mm -hmm. a boom right here. Okay. Me and uh. That's where the uh, bomb is gonna go, or the. Uh... However many frag grenades I need to blow that up. I have two, so I was gonna save one for the okay. other entrance to this place, the other side of the warehouse. I appreciate the uh, cantina band continuing to play through all this. They're fucking devoted. They are. Ooh, I, I like those. I see it. I see it. Uh, version 11 out of 10. Hot. Alright, so I assume all of y'all are gonna pop up there, yeah, is that correct? Yeah, She's got the speeder and we're. And I'm on our left. As soon as she pulls up right the speeder, we're like. I'm gonna go use now. that surprise and I'm gonna run in as soon as the. Yeah. Ah, nine foot tall, 350 pound dude with an axe. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, we're under rubble. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on. Don't. Wait, like, move your guys? I didn't realize y'all moved yeah, them already. Hee hee. <laughs> Alright, now, now move them up hey, here. It's not clear now. Hey. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, as soon as we bust through, I see this guy. What's he doing? Ooh, I see an E-walk at the top. Dying. 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 Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. You're dying. dying. I'm gonna. That, use my that blast, I'm man. Gonna um, I guess I'll, I'll see the Ewok and start running towards the Ewok because I know I've heard them talk about furry little dude. So. Ewok's gonna run away seeing you run towards it. <laughs> oh, I doubt he can run. Oh, that's right. Um, they're being tortured. If he's doing that, I'm gonna check this corner. I'm gonna use this guy's body as like a shield in case someone's there. So I just kind of want to okay. this corner right here. So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to start with, uh, that guy. I'm uh, Clot. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're just right there. Cool. Are they tied down or something? They appear to be unconscious. Okay. This is going to be a little harder. And you, sense. you looked around there, uh, Prez? Okay. <clears throat> Claude, let's just start dragging them. You motherfuckers! Did I see that guy? Roll, roll initiative. <laughs> I wanted to kind of start running. Get behind him. Can I, can I roll stealth and initiative? You can roll stealth. Okay, I'm gonna roll. And, and then what are you gonna do? I have a 15 for stealth, Adam. Actually, I gotta, I gotta let okay. the hands out. I'll say that you can get to here. Okay. And I'll roll initiative. Before we roll initiative, yeah. Okay. And he doesn't know you're there. What's my initiative bonus? Uh, Initiative. Ah, plus ten. Shit. Je Jenny had a thirteen. Yes. I have a nineteen. Fine, we probably need you to go first. Yeah, I'm on. Nineteen. Clot. I think he went to let his cats out. Yeah. Oh, nobody got a nine. Where did he get an? Oh yeah, he did get a nine. And rolling for turn order. Got it.
All right, so he's gonna go last, and you are gonna go first, Sir Nick. Okay. okay I'm sorry. trying to not make any noise in here, and so. So we we still have double damage. We do. Oh lord. And you're but you're stealth, which means you're gonna do four times as much damage. I don't want to make any noise though. Is the thing. The oh yeah. Loud. Oh well, if you as soon as you fire. Yeah, no. That's why I have. That's why I have my vibro dagger. So okay. I have my vibro dagger, and I'm going to let's see if I hit him. That's for one d twenty plus seven. A fourteen. Did the fourteen hit him? If I'm sneaky. A dummy. Flat flat footed. It actually does not. Flat footed. What the hell does that mean? That means like, you caught like him surprise. Him, so he he took a negative to his reflex, but he still didn't hit him. I still didn't hit him. It was a fourteen. No. Nope. Shit. You said it's a nineteen or a fourteen. 14. Nope. What? It had to be a fifteen. Okay. <laughs> These guys have a lot of armor. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, Yippers. that's my turn. Just being here. I can't do anything else. Yep. All right, so it's his turn. So he had his he had his blaster out. So he's gonna take a disadvantage, and he's gonna try and shoot at you, Nick. Okay. So it'll be the lower of these two. So does twelve hit? All right. So he turns. He's like, oh shit, and he's scared him, and he just starts firing, Fuck. and he's just shooting around you. But he he didn't hit you. Okay. But he did fire his blaster. Alrighty. All right. You're at call our day. Um. Can I even see? Because there's like cargo and stuff here, right? Uh, you could climb up there, but you would have to roll for it. What am I rolling? Climb. Eleven. Yeah, you hop up there, no problem. So you can see him, no problem. Can I still shoot? You can fire. So twenty-two to hit. Okay, yeah, you definitely hit him. So roll damage. Eleven. Oh no, wait, it's double, right? Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. So, oh wow. Uh, so you you shoot him, and you're up at an angle, looking down at him, and as you shoot, it go, you just see the blaster bolt go like straight into his shoulder, and his his arm kind of goes like limp. His left arm goes limp, and. He just starts like screaming in pain, and he's gonna move down the condition track for one thing. And it was 22 totally yes. say correct. All right, yeah, he is he is hurting very badly. <laughs> so Clot, it's your turn. Um, looks like they got this guy handled. I'm gonna pick up the Wookie and the Jedi and run to the speeder with them. Okay. So what I'll do is, I'll say, I'm going to move them off, and then just say you're over here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Prez, you're back okay. up. So I guess I can actually use a gun now, and I have a... Uh... Well, it's up to you. The more gunfire, uh, the more attention you're going to draw. Very true. Um, so there's only been like two two blaster bolts that have gone off so far. I don't want to try to stab them again because they have such high armor and I'll, I'll never be able to hit. Mm. Uh, if you fire at him at close range, you'll take 
a penalty. I have point blank shot, so I actually get a plus one bonus. Then I lied. Yep. <laughs> All right. Mm. It'll. He will be. He will roll with advantage. And this time. What do I do? You can roll to attack twice. And take the better of the two. A 19. Okay. I roll damage. Okay. And this is a... What is this? 3d8 plus 2? So 28 points of damage total then. Okay. Yeah. You, uh... And what are you, what are you attacking with? I was using my, uh... My blaster rifle. Okay, so you had just seen uh, Corday shoot him in his left arm and him just scream, screaming, looking down at the ground. And as he's like bending down, uh, just like screaming, he starts bringing his head back up to you. And right what, what he sees barrel. from his perspective is, is a, yeah, right in front of a gun barrel and you just shoot and there's just a, his head just disappears and he just falls down to the ground. Awesome. And you, there's just blood pouring out all over the floor and it's getting all over whoever this is. <laughs> Alright. Um, so... Well, I guess my turn's over, so... Uh, you guys are effectively out of combat, Perfect. so... I'm gonna go run back in and pick up the other two. Alright. I was gonna say, I'm going to we could grab... Run this way. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna run this way, and I'm. This is a warehouse, right? I have a grenade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. I had two other grenades. Do you want them? Uh, I think we could both destroy the fucking warehouse. I. I'm gonna chuck my first grenade here, or my last grenade, actually. My last grenade's going right here. And okay. I'm just gonna haul ass, and you can throw your wherever you're wanting to. <laughs> fucking out of here. You have one more or no? One. I have another one, but I'm gonna save it in case we need it. Gotcha. <laughs> so there's a huge fire. Well, I'm sure there's a whatever, lot of fire in whatever. There. Uh, no. What's her name? Kari had the lightsaber. This this whole this whole thing is just blowing up. Okay. Yeah, we're we're out. We're dipping. Let's go. They should have already left. Yeah. <laughs> if after they don't leave, a, that's their dumbass. a few more explosions, I'm sure they're out the fucking door. Oh god, so much fire. We run. Hey! Hey! Fuck yeah. Where are all our peeps at? Where's Mina? Oh god. <laughs> It took them a minute. A lot of tokens. Where's my four-eyed god? I want to know why there's an Ewok <laughs> on the board with a black power fist. Because that's, that was, that's, that's Sarah. Sarah. That's Asia. Okay. Yeah. That's hilarious. My other Mandalorian sister. Sister. <laughs> Woo! I guess we're pulling up after them, so I just kinda I high five my two bar buddies. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have like a jail. So what does this mean now if our old characters were alive? <laughs> it means you have or additional members of a team. They're NPCs now. Well, I was gonna be like, we role playing two characters, let's do it. Fuck yeah, that. There's so much fun. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Fuck that. I Come can't on. Be, I can't nope. be a super selfie character and a Babe, we've already established that my new character is basically my old one. My, mine isn't. <laughs> my new character Sisters. is. Sisters. I'm just playing <laughs> twins at this point. <laughs> oh, man. Who think the I same way. <laughs> Oh yeah. Fucking <laughs> Hell yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so you guys are able to let me let me pull this up here. So we're gonna just go through the objectives, and then that's gonna determine the payout. <clears throat> All right, so y'all gathered intelligence on a strength of the syndicate because y'all were able to determine that there's five additional hubs. I do like that we deleted their files, but then we <clears throat> blew the whole place up anyway. It's like a, it's like double tapping uh, a computer. <laughs> we all identified the syndicate leader. Uh, y'all did not determine their goal. Eh, that's gay. We're about to. Currently, but <laughs> y'all could. Y'all might be able to get that by interrogating him. I'll punch him real hard. Uh, you determine if there are other bases, so that's so that's three so far. Um, you did remain undetected. Oh uh, yeah. Surprisingly, uh, actually, now that you say that, I realize yeah. that we did. Damn. Uh, you'll sabotage the base, the big time. At least we saved the tavern, right? Without break, without without breaking cover. Yep. Yay. Uh, y'all did capture the syndicate. Oh wait, shit. Y'all did cripple the base. Jack is just walking around. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> walking with his ass. Okay. <laughs> y'all y'all did not follow the rules of engagement. Oh no. Uh but Yeah, Y'all did uh follow We're technically mercenaries. Yeah. We wouldn't follow military rules of engagement. That's what it's about objective. And I'm pretty sure we didn't kill any citizens. One, two, three, four. So that's four thousand. Six thousand. Wait, 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 wait. It says do not fire unless fired upon. Fired upon. I grappled him. Um, <clears throat> the the portion that I am oh, no, so eight. that's not the oh, portion. Yeah. Yes. Wait, I didn't fire. I, I, I threw a no, not the apple. not the grenade, not the grenade to blow blow up the wall, or the grenades to blow up the warehouse. Um, wait, you attacked. You tried to stab the dude, right? I mean, yeah. Which dude? Uh, whenever you snuck around, you you were trying to stab him. Yeah. Okay, so then no. Uh, <laughs> Y'all did follow that I mean, one. Um, I did blow up a fuel tank with a grenade. Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you did try to stab him. That's... I did. Which I still don't understand. But no, that that that's so the the rules of engagement, like so your primary objectives, those are like what had to be accomplished. Everything below that was just adding to it. Can we see these objectives? But you actually did not fire. You didn't fire on anyone. You. He is actually so, really on. good at you that. You did 9,000. 9,000. 9, I know a boss very well. <laughs> He's a weak little All right. boy. Y'all are gonna. And then that was 10,000 on top of that. Alright, I'm gonna put this Ewok on. So it's 30,000 that y'all got total. So split it. Splitting would have been ten, an extra ten to each of y'all. So ten total is being deposited into y'all's bank account. Hot. Each of y'all. Nice. I like money. Um, I think what we'll do is <laughs> we will wait to interrogate. We're gonna. I think we'll stop That's here. That works. Yeah. And then, and then uh, next week, I was, you know, I was thinking about doing like a longer session, but that's just not feasible for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, I think that for sure we'll pick up from here. But actually, y'all did way better than I thought y'all were gonna that do. That was a lot better than last time. <laughs> that was a lot better than last time for sure. Um. So, what I guess so. What was y'all's perception about last time then? 
I literally thought we were supposed to blow that fucking place up and kill everybody. I, I think we I, went there. Like, I think we had way more respect for the volatility of the enemies this time, so we did. Yeah, this time we understood. Yeah. I feel okay. like we planned well, no. better this time, too. Also, also... Oh, for sure. Just from what I'm used to, is like... Because this is more of like, you have a more realistic feel going on, right, Adam, for this? Like, we're not like... Um, we're not like I think so. We can actually die. We know this now. Because yeah. I think what I'm used to is like, we go in as like level 5 characters and we would like go room to room and clear people out. We still have, you know, HP left over and shit like that. Um, for this particular, actually for pretty much all the missions, um, there's like, I have like, um, a tier threshold, I guess. So, that's why I guess I always try to say, or I try to make it clear that at any point in time, you can make that decision to leave. It's just going to be like a lower payout. So, the the way that I have it in an Excel, uh, I'm actually going to, I'm trying to pull it up right now. Because um, y'all, so you have like your CL that you're supposed to be able to handle, so you don't get a bonus for that. But for each additional tier, it, it it stacks. So I have it from fair, even to fair, to challenging, difficult, to heroic, uh, and then it goes up to legendary. And so you guys were supposed to get 30,000 for the payout. But the way I have the bonus rewards, it's going to be 381% higher than that. Oh. So you basically, basically each one of you is gonna get something closer to like thirty thousand in credits to each one of y'all. So y'all should theoretically be able to each potentially buy a ship, a used ship, and armor and whatever upgrades. And because you did such a good job on this mission, it's gonna drastically improve. So you basically took out the central hub and the leadership and have like the ability to interrogate them so the entire like pirate network on that or on that planet is basically completely decimated you took out the main hub yes there are five other ones but now that the pirates now that supplies can actually get to Duxon, there's basically just going to be a massive influx of military goods and supplies to y'all so y'all are going to have the next time have the ability to purchase fighters uh, heavy gunships or like whatever there's gonna be options available to y'all to you know you can buy a big ship you can all have your own ship um, there's gonna be a lot more in the sense of upgrading your gear there's gonna be a lot more in the sense of available equipment um, you have now what is it one two three four how many people did y'all rescue was it five people we why do I feel like I'm missing somebody rock, honor Random hooker number one and two. And then our old people. And, and then four, five of So, them. yeah. How many was it? I'm just putting this together right now. All the people. Four people and then like a fifth one along with the two guys ran in. I, I think oh, the lady that... I forgot about the lady that cut the mistress in half. Well, yeah, yeah. Faye and Leah. Uh, so these, these are all... So I guess I'll, I'm gonna put the PCs up here. Oh yeah. Hey, don't touch me. So Sarah is planning on coming back. She just hasn't been able to. So you guys have essentially ten additional people on your team. Nope. So y'all could have like a much larger ship, and they could just be on it, and y'all guys could be like the away team, so to speak, and actually go do stuff. But they could be with y'all to help y'all with things, or as contacts. But <clears throat> anyways, that was actually way better than I thought it was gonna go. But I think it was a lot of fun. If you hadn't tossed that grenade over the side, I don't think it would have gone as well as it did. No, that no, was my YOLO. That they really did. I didn't even think about the distraction capabilities of that. That's why I got them. <laughs> That's the only reason I got them. 
No, that and that's that's exactly it. Like, uh, I was worried that it was going to end up being kind of similar. Uh, would so you yeah, have like, if we just started opening fire. Like, would you have just been like, all right, I'm getting out for the day? Would you start opening well, fire in the tavern? I was hoping to pick Jack up. I don't know. I didn't want to fight. It didn't work out so well. So. Yeah, so before, so the CL anybody. level would have been seven. Do what? Anybody. Well, I threw a guy. That doesn't count. I grabbed a fucking block. No, yeah, that's that's not breaking rules of engagement at all. So let me let me let me figure out y'all's money real quick, and then that way y'all can. Okay. Aha, so, wow, you would actually break out. <laughs> each one of y'all is gonna get thirty-eight thousand one hundred and fifty credits. Three eight one five zero. Yes, I rounded rounded it up a little bit, but that's close enough. Wow. I'm about to... uh, I mean, it's so. <laughs> You you uh, could try. I mean, you have you have. How oh, hold up. Oh. Do, How much did we just get? <laughs> thirty-eight thousand one hundred. You got thirty-eight. So let me let me back up. So if you guys had just gotten information, uh, it would have been just around uh, ten thousand. You would have only got the ten thousand for coming to do the mission. Um. Once y'all got uh, Faye, uh, it went up to uh, 125%. Uh, y'all kept finding out information. The computer made it 195% bonus. Before y'all blew everything up, y'all were at heroic. Some say that guy is still watching so that was, the to restart. He is. He's like, please restart, fuck. I already forgot about that. <laughs> I was gonna check on him. I really wanted to run in and be like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would have been interesting. <laughs>